hello, hello. Bunk, 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 bunk. Oh yeah, I forgot to reset that up on my shit. I forgot to set up my stuff, chat. I forgot it. Ooh, give me a second. Um, hmm. Oh yeah, GG. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh no 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 do, do, do. Give me one second, chat. How was everybody doing though? How are you guys doing? How are you guys having a, a good day? Tell me all the tea. How has everybody been? Okay. There we go. Hi! <laughs> Yo! Monkey, thank you for a year! How the heck? Has it already been a year? Also, dude, I don't deserve you. Think of it here too. You do not need to do that yet. Yo, little weirdo. Thank you so much. Hello, hello. Rar, rar. Thank you for the super chat thingy. I don't know. I guess the hype chat super chat is YouTube, right? Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Hi, monkey. Hi, rar, rar. Hello, Coolio. Hi, Narva. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Does you pin chat messages? Yeah, that's kind of cool. Just like YouTube. Yeah, it's like a super chat. Wonder, uh, yeah, 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 70, 30. Twer Twerky, hello, dark, hello, hi. How's everybody doing? Hello, 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 hello. I uh, gotta get my mod view and subathon sheet up before stream, so I'm already ready. Yo, oh my gosh, music quiet or is it just me? Am I quiet? Someone was saying this the other stream too. Um. What? What do you mean? Like, uh, I mean, I'm eating, so, but like, is it just, oh, the ocean, that's what. There, is that better? I don't have my headphones on, sorry. I was eating, and Linkerpoo is wooing. Enjoy your dollar, thank you, thank you. What? You guys are trolling me. You want me to have days of prep? That, dude, I never... Topher, thank you very much! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you for all the loves! Thank you for eight months! Thank you! Uh, I can hear you again thanks to the steroids I started taking. Are you feeling better, monkey? Yeah, tell me the tea. I'll thank the dude, I'm never Mizu for prepared. Topher since she still hasn't woken up yet. Thank you, Mizu, for being such an amazing part of Topher's life. And thank you and your chat for being such a supportive community. Thanks to Ataraga Miswami for my sub gift. Is it better now, Rubber? Thank you, Toffer. All the loves. Um. Anyway, hi. <laughs> I have food. I think it, it just got ready as I was about to go to stream. Um. I'm not prepared for anything. How are you guys doing? Oh, you know what? Uh, I don't know if I'm the one to ask about sound. I mean, everybody says my stream is quiet in general, so. Okay. I am eating. Hina, hello. I'm eating. And so in the meantime, we're going to watch a YouTube video <laughs> while I finish my food since we chillin'. Um, and I'm getting back in this and stuff. Although tomorrow, everybody, don't forget, um, is our charity stream start and everything. Technically, I mean, I have the stuff up for it, but I got the, I got the spicy beans. They're ready to go, but I thought this was a really interesting YouTube video and I thought we should watch it together. It's, uh, Oompaville and how, uh, he got a million dollars stolen from him. Are you aware that Caleb is being scammed? Uh, it's seeming likely. My candy company, Sour Boys, was scammed. How's it going, Coffee? It's good to talk to you, man. Hey, what's up, Oompa? What's going on? So I have some- I might eat some food. Hilarious, tragic- While we watch. News. How is everybody doing? Hello, hello, hello. Do you know the candy company that we modeled our Dylan scam off of that we put out a couple months ago? I don't think I've ever been so excited about something in my life. 
it, he, no. he tweeted it, bro. He tweeted Stop. it. Stop. Stop. So someone who worked for me in that business, who no longer works with me now, I found out stole an insane amount of money, like so much that this whole thing might just go under. Like I've had to max out all my credit cards bad. How, how <laughs> much money are we talking? It's embarrassing to say because it seems stupid, but over three quarters of a million dollars. Over. <laughs> oh my God. How, how what happened? What happened? Dylan Danis did this to you? I'm gonna find that guy. It would be a lot funnier and less sad if it was Dylan. <laughs> so this dude who's fucking me over is in my warehouse. I've been nice to him. I've paid his wages uh, when I didn't have to. The guy was into crypto. He was into gotcha games. He was a gotcha whale. And he got you? He got me. <laughs> $10,000 a month in gotcha games. You're $10,000. <laughs> A month. Yeah, or yeah, in gotcha someone's, games. Someone's ten thousand dollars a month in gotcha games. Can you tell us who scammed you? You you have people like your mom working for you, best friend, your cousin, other YouTubers. Who do you think it could have been? Well, I know exactly who it was, and it's a, it's a long story. Literally, I, all of my work for the last two years has just been siphoned through a lie. It's getting worse too. There's more and more and more and more and more coming out anything i can do to help i mean you, you got to catch this guy i i need help i have a lawyer i have a private investigator investigating stuff i just have to figure out where all the money went and i need to expose this to its fullest extent so hopefully this will never happen to anyone else ever again yeah i'm eating okay, ribs right, right. chat so that's why yeah. we're having uh stream time tell your little work oh. start from yeah. the beginning okay so How are you doing today? I'm doing all right. You doing all right? Got another, I got a haircut. You look good. Thank you. Before we start, can you tell us a little bit about what you do and who you are? Yeah, my name is Caleb. Uh, my last name is Umpaville. My profession is a YouTuber. That's definitely the main focus of all of my time. Um, I also have a candy company. And uh, beyond that, nothing really, nothing really too much. It's pretty boring. We're here today to talk about the candy company in particular. It's to our understanding that you've been scammed. Is this true? It is, yeah, it is true. I did, yeah, it is true. I got scammed. You got scammed? Yeah, not good. Can you tell us more about that? What do you want to know? No, like, where, where would you like to start on the whole, the very, very beginning or? The beginning would be best, start at the beginning. We'll go back to 2019. About four years ago in 2019, I wanted to diversify my sources of income as any young entrepreneur, which I am not, but any young, man with a, with a mental illness would want to do, make more money. And I was like, what can I do to make money on YouTube that isn't just the same thing that everybody else does? And I settled on uh, potentially creating a candy company because I love candy. Now we will be selling this candy after we've used it. <gasps> We're not. No, that's illegal, I think. That's probably a FDA violation. We're not gonna be using this candy after we use it. I thought that would be really interesting if I did something different and something cool instead of just selling shirts like everybody does. That's pretty interesting. How did you come to the point of making this idea? Uh, so my cousin and I, Clint, we were just brainstorming, having a little bit of a powwow, and uh, we both kind of came to the conclusion, what if we just tried all the candy out there and we decided what was best and then we made our own version of that. How are you doing? Good. You good? Yeah. That's good. Can you explain what you do here and who you are? I am the head of the maintenance department here at uh, Sour Boys, and my name is Clint Phelps. What do you do as head of the maintenance department? Maintain things. What is your relationship with Caleb? Uh, he's, he's my boss, and that, that's it. No blood relation? Uh, oh, uh, we are cousins, yeah. How do you even start doing this? Um, well, you start by the same process you start any Thing, any endeavor. <laughs> We're talking about earwax in the chat watching this and I'm uh, eating on, food on manufacturing of candy and like the the business aspects of it and also simultaneously calling every single co-manufacturer that I could possibly find in America and that was that was tough no one wanted to work with me they did not like me at all so you started the company with Clint was there anyone else you had with you like your, your parents uh, my mom helped me from the very beginning Clint helped me from the very beginning Tara helped She's been an editor on the channel since two Monkey, you should have went to the ER Cole. sooner. Rifty, Rifty Don't Spiffy, die. The Overwatch YouTuber. Not really, he does Fortnite. He helped me as well Mosh a lot. Matthew. He started as a JV, him and I, and 
I brought him the idea and then he, we kind of worked together for a bit. So I had plenty of people to help. What were the first steps you even took? The first steps would be, would have been for me at the time to ask my family for help, basically to see if they would be willing to work with me. Because I believe at the time I still, I hired my mom at that point, Prudy Candy Company. Who are you? I'm Lois, uh, Caleb's mom. What's your affiliation with Sour Boys? I am general manager. How long have you been with Sour Boys? Since 2019, about four years. Have Do the earwax the candle things work? Some I've always days. seen that online. Is Caleb a good boss? Some days. <laughs> Some days not. <laughs> So you hired a lot of your, your family and friends. Did any of them know actually how to start a candy company? No, no, no. Nobody knew how to start a candy company. I was the only, the closest thing to that, and that's just because I read books. What's your affiliation with Sour Boys? I am a what you call just a handyman, helper, mostly for free. It was all dead ends until <laughs> I found a candy company out of Sweden that was willing to sell in bulk candy and pallets, and we packaged it ourselves. So they didn't even private label it for us. They just sold it to us in bulk. And then you, you resold it under the Sour Boys LLC. Exactly, yeah. The, the, the name, Sour Boys or Off Brand. Hey guys, we're shipping out all the candy today. We're, at, we're actually, we're doing a lot right now, live. What was the initial response to you selling it? The initial response was crazy for only having two flavors and also two just basic, simple things. It was really just to test the idea to see if it would work. So this gave you a lot of confidence. Is this when you decided to move down to Texas? Yeah, uh, Cole being my best friend, he lives here in Texas, and uh, that was one of the main reasons I, I moved down. My mom also, my main employee, I figured it was just a natural thing to, to move down. Plus, taxes. <laughs> a little better than Virginia, to be honest. <laughs> Karate Dad, you! What is your name? Jesse. Who are you to Caleb? I am Caleb's father. How long have you known You're Caleb? You're my dad, bro, bro. I've been around 26 years. So how long have you known Caleb? Uh, 26 years. How long have you been working for Caleb? I've worked for Caleb since 2019 in various positions. Uh, I've held this position whoa, whoa, whoa. for about, about a month. <laughs> about a month. from Texas? Uh, no, I'm from Virginia. He moved down here and he was looking for help with his uh, candy company. So I just, just moved to Texas. I didn't even come check it out. I just moved straight here. Are you forklift certified? Uh, I got forklift certified at one point, but it might be expired, I don't know. I can drive a forklift though. What do you do for the company? I'm the COO. I basically just uh, help try to fulfill any dream that Caleb has. What is your affiliation with Caleb? Like, how long have you known him? Since I was really young. Uh, I think probably maybe when I was around three or four, I would say. How long have you worked with Caleb? I've worked with Caleb since uh, February of last year, which was 2022. So you moved down to Texas and you were still reselling basically with Cole. Yeah. What was the next step from there? Me and Rifty Spiffy, we decided that the next step would be to have more than just two flavors. And in order to do that, we have to take manufacturing into our own business, which is extremely difficult. You just kind of have to keep, keep it interesting or people just lose interest. It's very simple. I am no longer part of Sour Boys. A lot of people ask still where Cole is with the candy. Um, this is the point where we split ways. I have left. Because I wanted to, to do the manufacturing thing, and in order to do that, I had to incur debt and take on a lot of unnecessary risk. That, that is the point in which, in which that separated, when that massive load, that hot load of half a million dollars of candy machine equipment just on my, oh, on my shoulder. Ah, ah. <laughs> poop burped in my ear. Let's just say I didn't want to leave. So how do you even get into it? The way that I got into the position to be able to even consider manufacturing it ourselves is before launch, I met a fellow named Jake, AKA Zelderon on my Discord server. Yo, Dark, you think I tell people when I'm live? <laughs> so kind of had a budding friendship there. Yeah, his hair is beautiful. Him, hey, he man, jokes it's a wig, but it's not. The candy. Could, is there a way we could kind of develop something to manufacture? Morgan's so like brother, or Nerva's tape, brother, so almost worked for him. He, got, he offered him a job to move down people. there and live with him we and be his camera guy. More about the, the process than, than I would, a YouTuber. <laughs> a 
and you start I'm up. incurring massive amounts of debt. I'm gonna yeah, need to kiss up to Nerva's brother and channel, ask him to reach out to Oompaville and, and tell him I'm his biggest fan. All the that I made in, a, in the month just went directly back into this this bad boy. So yeah, it, it was very expensive and I just decided to put it all on the line. Where do you go from there? You have the, the machine that you wanna make, you're incurring all this debt, what's the next step? Irritable bowel syndrome, <laughs> brought on by <laughs> chronic stress. He's Panic literally attack. me! A uh, short stint of homelessness, what do you wanna know? during this time, it was very stressful. Irritable bowel very syndrome. Very difficult time. I was also posting every single day on my main channel. That's right, you were posting every day. Every single day. Living in a warehouse. Yeah, yeah buddy. Hey, it's me, Caleb. Um, I'm in a warehouse right but now. But he has hair. Yo, shut up, monkey. <laughs> now I'm in a self-control, or a climate-controlled self-storage uh, warehouse. This is everything Shaking that I my own. head. For a time, I lived in Plano in Texas. What did I? Cold. Oh. I lived around that area. As soon as we kind of split ways, uh, I decided to take my business to a little bit of more of a rural area where I was more comfortable. I grew up in this town and uh, I saw a dope house, a compound. I wanted to buy it. In the process of buying it, a lot of things went. Chat, I have an evil diabolical plan. I was running this over with Nerva last night and I was like, you know what? You know what? You know what? So you see. You always see these videos of like people who like are obsessed with a certain content creator and then eventually the content creator sees a video of them talking about like they're a content creator too and them talking about how they're obsessed with that other content creator and then they they like interact over the internet right what i need to do is like obviously i'm obsessed with pewdiepie pewdiepie ain't ever gonna see me okay he doesn't make content anymore. Jack Septic Eye, pretty big content creator. Too big, too big. We need to go for smaller fish. I need to obsess over a, a singular content creator. And we have to make viral clips about it until they fucking notice me. Pull a, uh, uh, what's her name? What's her name? Pink hair. Saucy Baca face. The she is, uh, 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 bath water. Who is that? Who is that chat? What's her name? Playing charades with uh with my brain dead self. Okay, you guys, you, you I am, I am the the one. Yes, and you guys are my five working brain cells. Thank you, <laughs> Val Delphine. Pull a Val Delphine, and we make a clip about a content creator until they fucking notice us. That might be cringe. We have to do it in a funny way. We have to do it in a funny way. I don't know how we do it. Oh, you know what would be kind of funny? I had an idea. I was like, how do we do this as a VTuber? That would be hilarious. So how do we do it as a VTuber? I had an idea. I was like, okay, I can't just like eat a pe like a piece of paper with their face on it, right? Like, like a what if every single day we add another picture of them in the background of my vtubing room until they <laughs> 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 no, I just started tuning in Dude, uh, them seeing the bathtub uh, uh, rl streams you mean these yo we should make a oh my god oh my god i i'm having a brainstorm i'm having a brainstorm i'm having a brainstorm i'm having a brainstorm nerva 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 write this down write this down I'm having i'm having an epiphany chat i'm having an epiphany okay uh okay we're we're gonna have a moment here okay this is the scene this is the scene all right me on a toilet you don't see anything. They're just VTuber on toilet. Yes. Um, with some sort of like holy grail like shrine in the bathroom of Oompaville. <laughs> and every single day until he notices us, we watch his YouTube video on like like a like a tv right and then we add to the shrine of oompaville every day until he notices us and we comment on his stuff notice me senpai you like my bathroom shrine i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry this is 
<laughs> if he ever sees this, he's gonna be like, "Who is this psycho?" And why did I almost let her like step or like what? A her her brother in law work for me. For oh my god. Month, is that did... what is that what your brother is? The gossip issues or something? <laughs> dude, dude, wait, 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 is that what your wait, is that what your brother is to me? If we were married, is he my, my brother in law? Yeah. Does he still make content? I was gonna say, if he ever makes content, we should like collab. Although I'm too tiny, probably. Build the empire. Anyway, in my warehouse. I just noticed something. You should definitely go look at the date on your charity stream flyer. What? <laughs> uh, 23rd? Leave it, leave it, leave it. It's perfect. Anyway, excuse me. Back to the video. Look, room closet. I just did a cool edit on this. Also, Menace, how you doing? Sorry, I was having an epiphany moment. I love you. Kisses. How are you doing? How are you doing? Look at this. Check this out, guys. Look at this. My setup. My setup's right here. Check that out. Pretty cool, eh? Here's my cleaning supplies, too, and my play button for my channel that got deleted. What was it like being homeless and living in the warehouse? Uh, overall, it was pretty terrible, but at the same time, I ate a lot of paydays. And that was, Come here. that was a silver lining. And I've taken my buddy Clint with me here. He's building Legos. What, what do you want? My dog is getting there. me. So Let's get a... I, I can't edit this. I don't know. Hey, buddy. It'd be all right. How do you think Caleb was feeling during this time? Uh, he seemed miserable, but I feel like he was overreacting. <laughs> what do you want? And it's not that big of a deal. Whoa. He'll be all right. It was terrible. What do you I didn't want? The whole time. There was a green smoke emanating from my pores as I walked through the warehouse around all the food manufacturing equipment. Just kidding. Just kidding. That was a joke. What are you doing? So what was happening with the machine during this when you were homeless? Uh, it was being built. The initial contract showed 10 weeks to Dog is getting weeks, me. I believe. I can't remember exactly, but 10 weeks what minimum doing? turnaround. So I was like so ready. You just know, stop recording and he stuff. starts again. I bought an additional warehouse space in that time. Just It was all coming together at that point. Were what there any do you delays want? with the machine? Yes, lots. Lots of delays. What? COVID makes sense. You know, manufacturing equipment. What do you want? A lot of moving parts, a lot of variables. Makes sense. Do you, you miss being on camera or something? Is that your new thing? That goes into this. Jake said that he was having an all fab at the time in Georgia. There was delays with each little individual the, the video. vendor. One part takes six weeks to get in, and it takes a couple weirdo. weeks to build it. You know that that was the main the main source of the delays was just parts coming in and, and the the labor required to assemble those parts into something bigger and more useful. Yeah, so so plenty of delays for sure, but all completely understandable and well within the 10 week to 35 Thank week you. turnaround of the contract. Were the delays in the machine stressful? Yes. <laughs> I actually wrote down my brainstorm. Went along, but yes, very stressful. Do you think taking the risk was a good idea? He, dude, he wanted the ribs and I, there was no way to eat them nice. So that's why I decided that we chill. I have to show you guys. Hopefully I don't dox anyone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> What do you want? What? What do you want? Do you miss being on camera or something? Is that your new thing? This is what he's been doing this whole time. What do you want? He keeps blowing air on my elbow and doing this the whole time that I've been live. The last half hour also. Uh, yeah, Nerva being a Mizu weird champ brainstorm, Mizu on toilet for behind, holy girl, a bathroom of Oompaville, watch daily and add to Shrek. For the machine? Definitely. I 
think taking a risk is a great idea. July 4th. <laughs> really be successful. Ford in the thirst. There were parts that after a while. Roddy, that's why you have to idea. like look over Knowing everything. Knowing now that you've been scammed, were there- I, I submitted my Twitch ambassador thing last night at 4 a.m. in the morning. And I just was like, fuck it. I'm not going to edit it anymore because I feel like when I apply for things and I write for things, I think that we live in this world where everything became so stuffy, right? And so I feel like when I write something, I don't want to, like, remove too much of the, hum the human out of it. And I think it's, like, how I, I write how I speak, Karate knows. I write how I speak. So it's like, I'm not editing this anymore. I'm just going to fucking send it. It was like four pages long. <laughs> They're going to be like, I'm not reading this and deny me. But anyway, gosh, you think I'm the raid? How was your stream? Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, how are you doing? How was your stream? Yo, 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 dude, green aid's pretty good. I like green aids a lot. Definitely if it's something that you haven't gotten to try. You write not English. I don't wanna I'm, I'm the British. red flags. Hi! I was eating and we we're watching this video, but we're halfway done and I, I thought you guys should watch my new favorite content creator, Oompaville, and how he lost a million dollars making a candy company. Anyone that was working with you. Like, do you think anyone was working against you during all this delay? Um Look at his beautiful really, hair. No. no, and yes, I have been scammed. Look at this beautiful. I'm and sorry yes, you were scammed. I, I had no idea. Hold no. on. I'm a, hold no on. Idea. Hold Thank on. You. Just for it, Karate. Karate, you bet all. He's making a really nice face there. Just give him a little. No, if I don't look, give him a little. I'm sorry, guys, scam. Oh. He gets a little forehead kiss. <laughs> very tired thinking about it. I have a mole on my back. I think it's cancerous. <laughs> Are you aware that Caleb has been scammed? I, it's seeming likely. There, there's definitely a mole among Me us. doing a very social relate. Me being a content creator. Me also having psychotic parasocial relationships. I mean, I'd be friends with Clint too. He's pretty cool. Anyway. <laughs> Some would say an apostle. <laughs> yeah, it was a forehead kiss. There. You have everything ready. Seems like you He's got the drip though. Like, can we just talk about like I don't know what this shirt is, but it's kind of cool. Washed out. You just need the machine. That Music is goes away for a couple yeah. days, comes back super weird. Me, I'm we're turning a new leaf. We're making different kinds of content. Also me. Uh other than my capture card making me have to fix it in the middle of the how was it i'm sorry though dude everyone i know what brand do you have do you have an off-brand one everyone i know who has a non elgato capture card theirs is just like <laughs> it explodes randomly i mean mine already ex i have an elgato one and it still is kind of jank but dude capture cards are weird Maybe we need to tap into that market. Somebody make a better caption. We had the recipe. We had all the proper consultants. We had like 80 flavors done. I love their bags out. of like mush. Uh, all the different dyes, all the art. I mean, we even had 100,000 bags ready to go, ready to be filled by March of 2022. There was a point in 2022 when you got the call, the machine was ready though, right? Rejoice. Absolutely. It was a celebratory moment. The machine was ready. Uh, but there was still trouble having it freighted out because it's, you know, 20,000 pounds of just equipment. It's not easy to move. It's like one of the pieces is 30 feet long. It's, it's a lot of stuff. I decided that it would be best if we all went and got it ourselves. Obviously, I'm not going to do that kind of dirty work. <laughs> so you went with Jesse and Marcus to go pick up the machine. But How he's me. <laughs> Going down there, it was pretty exciting. We were like, all had been waiting to go get the machine, and now we finally had the chance. So we were all ready to just like get down there and, and go get her loaded up and bring her back and get started. You went to help get the machine in Georgia, right? I did. I drove 1,000 miles, approximately. His dad is so go? cool. I drove 1,000 miles, approximately. Ride, buddy. Went well. Went well. 
things weren't as organized as what we were expecting them to be. We were still just like making the best of it. We were like super happy to like be able to walk in there and just see that the machine actually existed. And we were like, oh man, like it's all here. Like it's it's like it starts bringing the the dream to life a little bit. We got everything loaded up. There are still going to be some pieces missing uh, because they just weren't ready. So your dad, Forrest, and Marcus go to pick up the machine from Georgia. This would be the first time anyone's ever seen Jake in person. Uh, yes. I had never seen him. I had never met him. I talked to him on the phone a lot um, and texted him a lot. But yeah, that's the that was the first time. So I was excited to hear what my dad had to say and what Forrest had to say about uh, the whole experience. It's very, very, very exciting to go finally meet Jake. Uh, uh, eight, uh, Aver, Aver Media 2 Plus. I feel like, uh, which is interesting though, because like, isn't Aver Media good? I mean, I know other grants have them. Uh, old acquaintance bought it for me. It could not capture the sound coming from my PS4, even though I haven't changed the sound. <laughs> Ain't that how it goes? Ain't that how it goes? I'm sorry. And let me go. Meow, 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 Yo! So cute! Yo! Monkey! Keep the drawings up, I love them! So that doesn't look nice. How was meeting Jake? Meeting Jake was, it was a pleasure to meet the, the engineer who has fabricated all this equipment. I felt he was a bit nervous. Maybe sweaty. Can you do an impression <laughs> of him? I can, I can. Jake, he, he was a little... Fidgety. Was he on stimulants? I'm not aware of the stimulants, but he sure enough was vaping. What was your first impression of Jake? I don't really know what I was expecting of Jake, but I was expecting a man that was like, I, my brother's an engineer, and it's a different type of engineering, but uh, like, you know, well-groomed, put together, button-up shirts, professional, right? And like, clean. Jake was like very sloppy <laughs> and uh, like just frazzled hair, very like twitchy, pale, greasy. That is a bad <laughs> sign. <laughs> like the machine has arrived. Dude, I want to be friends with his dad. My dad and his dad would have a uh, uh, hoot of a time. The egg is like honestly, they would get along like two peas in a pod. I can well, what's your tell. response? What's your reaction to it? Happiness. Relief. Woo! Woo! <laughs> that is so badass. Yay! How? I can't believe all this has got to go in this building. And then, after that, a sobering moment of what next? And how do you continue it? You you hook up the machine? No. Still had to wait for Jake to do all that stuff, or I would void the contract, which would not have been smart for me to do. That's what he was being paid for in his contract. He, he was paid to create from the ground up. Uh, a process to manufacture candy at large scale and also install it. Oh girl, hello! Uh, I'm assuming all the parts finally get down there and then so does Jake and he comes down and starts the machine. No. <laughs> there was a couple more delays. Yeah. There was one piece that was left behind in Georgia, the packaging machine, um, which was a very automated process. That was in a bunch of pieces when my father and, and everyone went to Georgia. That was all taken apart in their shop. That was the next step, was to get that piece, and then Jake would come out and set everything up. Okay. So, and at that point, I think he gave me a timeline of around November from August, but really it was just a lot of radio silence. Money problems as well, on his half. On his part, he was losing money? Yeah, he was having some, he was having some problems. He mentioned that he was going through like a, a, a intellectual property dispute, and that was doing his revenue in and making- Dude, this is just giving me like business, like, I don't know, like PTSD or some shit. Like, oh my god, like building a building a a candy machine. You have somebody making it for you. You have this whole giant company and stuff, and you sink all this money into it, and then it's like you <laughs> bring it back and you can't set it up, and then you like satirical drama rather than a dog oh it's a hundred percent satirical everything he does is completely non-serious a hundred percent it's like serious in the the fact that it happened but he also just is a is a, a weirdo <laughs> really difficult for him to have working capital november comes what happens so in november jake 
uh, texts me and asks me what I think about being able to put more money in because they've gone well over budget. And at the time, I told and him he's already that sunk I five hundred grand. Love to do that. I would love to spend more because he did a good job. He did good on me in cutting the price down two hundred thousand dollars initially from like seven hundred thousand to five hundred thousand. He was really really helpful. So I gave him uh, well. He asked for one hundred thirty thousand dollars and gave me a bomb. Um, uh, build materials, <laughs> every single piece needed, the pipes, the hose, the fittings, connectors, everything basically to get us from zero to 60 to launch. Uh, and it was 130 grand and God. I sent him the money in November of 2022. Did you oh. think that Candy was going to launch after Caleb gave Jake the 130,000? Um, yeah, I was like, it seems I've also already watched this, but I, 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 you guys, we haven't gotten to the point, but I have some feelings on it and I'll explain at the end, but it's like, oh, so much money. And he said he had like took on so much debt and it's, he's trying to launch a candy company and this whole thing, you'll see, you'll see. It's like, a nightmare. Uh, Jake had made some, some mistakes and like he had not estimated what the cost of the, the job was gonna be. Caleb was just like willing happen. to fucking pull the trigger and fucking took the hit for the team and fucking paid the $130,000. Bless him. him. Like, man, if, if, he can, if he can for sure get it done, then it's worth it. So. This is a man who was way too nice. He's like, wants to pay everybody, wants everybody to succeed and will just do whatever he can. And he has money, so he just, is like we're not making money i'm still paying your wage you're not doing this thing and you you bitted it wrong I, i'll pay you extra like he's just too freaking nice December comes things are going very well for me oh uh, i get also as, as like i i don't know anything about like engineering and stuff but my family builds houses and oh man so, do i sound like me oh god hospital, the, uh, the flashback the oh ever. oh <laughs> Right. Ah! Pneumonia. <laughs> pneumonia is what he had and uh his lung had to get drained or something so then it got pushed oh off to the next year. <laughs> a picture of him with his little little wrist in the hospital Too funny. and i felt bad clearly y'all fucking know being. and this guy who's been helping me for a long time we've been working together for a long time is in the hospital so nothing happened essentially for the whole month of december because he had severe pneumonia and had to get uh, lung surgery. No personal feelings, just a, 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 an inconvenience in the, in the professional sense. It, it was not, uh, I had no ill will for Jake for getting sick. He's so he nice. That, he is but, so, so nice. So you were just waiting for him to have surgery and he'd be able to come right down? Yeah, we were just waiting for, for He's that so surgery. nice. And then we, he would be able to come back down. Normal people would be um, mad. As soon as he was better. So how Even did if his you can't help go? it. Did he get better? Uh, yeah, his surgery went successfully and uh, he's, he wasn't cleared by a doctor to, to come down. Um, so I suggested that he just send his, his coworker, Will, uh, in his stead to help us just get the ball rolling, right? Like, come on, man, we're really, really waiting on this stuff. I'm losing a lot of money. You know, I've spent $50,000 a month in just payroll for all businesses, not Good just Lord. Andy specifically, but it's a lot of responsibility. Good Lord. Um, so please help. Let's, let's get this done so we can buy more machines. Let's get this done. What was your first impression of Will? Will's a character. I mean, you're gonna see him. He's got he's got like colored hair. What was your first impression of seeing Will in Texas? Um, first impression. His mom is a hard I'm not ass. Good with first impressions. I mean, I mean, I like her, but that you could tell. She was different. She means business. What did you think of Will when he came to Texas? Blue hair. Fortnite. What did you think of Will? <laughs> Blue hair? <laughs> Are you here against your will? No. Dude, 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 his, his country, his country family. Dude, okay, and he, he always makes jokes in his videos about living in the holler. And, and I don't live in the South. I don't live in the South, but it, it God, it, it, it cracks me up. It cracks me up because like, I don't know. I like, I come from a family, like my extended family is like ranchers and all sorts of, you know, that kind of shit and, and everything and stuff. And like, I'm kind of like the oddball in the family with colored hair and like, video games and stuff and I, <laughs> it's just funny it's just funny <laughs> how did will's arrival affect the project 
Well, as soon as Tyler Blevins showed up, I was pretty excited because he was keeping the spirits high. Um, I took him out to dinner the first night, schmoozed him up a good bit, and uh, learned about him a little bit, learned about him and Jake, kind of got an idea of their relationship. It, it went really well the first maybe day. Maybe the first day it went, it went very well, and then it didn't go that well. The, the first day? After that. What would you say your first day here was like? Kind of confusing? Uh, I was told to show up and get a few things done, and it was odd. What was your impression of Caleb when you first arrived? He was pretty nice. Uh, asked me to go out to dinner with him, had dinner, and then didn't see him too much after that. What happened? So it just seemed like Will didn't really want to help us. It seemed like Will was there to slow us down. Either that or Will was completely incompetent. The first <laughs> couple of days, Forrest was working with Will when they were actually getting stuff done. He oh, was man. Like, me like, dude, this is bad. I don't know what this <laughs> well, guy, like, it, it, I hope Jake is better at this kind of stuff because we're not gonna be able to launch unless we, we, you know, get someone else to help us. And mind you, I just spent $130,000 to have this stuff, stuff up and running. So Ugh. at this point, I'm starting to lose my patience. Yeah, he's already bit. just There's only drawn. so many excuses you can you can have, and there's only so much uh, play before things start to get hostile. What was your first impression of the team? Uh, yeah, it met um, Forrest and Clint and a couple other people when they came and got uh, the machinery the first time, and Forrest was kind of a hard ass and. Clint was just happy to be there. And <laughs> that's was such chill. a Clint thing. How long have you known Jake? Uh, I knew him about 10 years. Um, oh, that's a long ass time. My best friend. And we had hung out a few times, played some video games. Love the music. He just didn't know what he was doing. He didn't know how to do anything. We had to communicate with Jake. Jake knew everything somehow. Will didn't really know anything about the machines, uh, which we all thought was weird because they built them. It was just like a lot of asking questions and then getting an answer that's irrelevant, if that makes sense. Just like, are you manipulating me right now? Like, what is going on? Just red flags. Lots and lots and lots and lots of red flags. You're still waiting on Jake to come down Ugh. because you, you've basically get, been given someone so bad. doesn't know what they're doing either. Yeah, we've been given incompetence, essentially. That's how I viewed it as. And I should bring up at this point as well, Will had not been paid in two or three weeks. The money problems for Jake were at an all-time- Thank you the hydrate! Uh, yeah, I like yeah. you for it. Not Atlanta, but on all-time low. All-time low. Atlanta's a shithole. I fucking hate Atlanta. Sorry, Atlantites. But Will hadn't been paid. Things are getting worse with Jake. There's no money. I told Will, hey, man, I'll pay your back pay. How about that? Let me Dude, pay you it's so nice. After all of this shit, he's like, I'll pay your back pay. We'll do this. We're still going with it. Who does that? Hashtag That's relatable. That's me and you. Let's get this shit done. <laughs> I, was, I was starting to talk to him in a way that was almost manipulative uh, from my perspective, being like, hey man, if you, if you can help us get this done. Like it's, he feels like he's manipulating the situation by being like, here, I'll pay you so you work for me now. But he's like schlonging around the money, but he just wants his shit done. It's not really manipulative when the other person's not even paying the person they're supposed to be paying. I'll, I'll like, hire you. Whatever you're getting paid by Jake, I'll fucking you over, you man. Like, it seems like you know what you're doing. I was just. Yo, have a good vacation. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're well. Sending you hugs and loves and everything. Lying to him, essentially, to try to get information because things. Yo, man. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Poopa Squad. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you're from. Thank you so much for all the love and welcome to the family. We're just having a chill time and I'm admiring the beautiful Oompa Village. We're starting to, to <laughs> turn black. It was fucking true. Yeah, so I paid his back pay, and the next day he started working a lot harder for us. And it was like just in a, with on an instant, things sort of changed, which was even more suspicious, to be honest. So, no, Will couldn't nice. stay down there forever. Did Jake ever eventually come down? No. Still have <laughs> never seen Jake, uh, which is terrible. He's but never he, seen he Jake. He never came down. He did ever. ask for more money, and I did offer him more money oh just God. to kind of get an idea of where everything was oh at. Oh, my God. Uh, one night after, right before Will was supposed <sighs> to leave, I told Jake, hey man, what do I need to do to get you down here? I don't think we can do this with just Will. I think we need you. What can I do to get you down here? I'll do anything. Uh, like your business is failing. You're having money trouble. What do you need for me to get you down to get this launched? I'll even buy your business and, and move I'll you I'll even buy your business, face. 
make sense. Just to, just to get through it, like. And help, whatever. Just oh my god. To be as generous and encompassing as possible. Oh my god. To get things going in the right direction. Some call it manipulation. Some call it being a fucking uh, top G. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <I didn't laughs> it was manipulation, but I was scared. I was like. Very, very it, nervous that, that this is was all the I was getting fucked you over. Just want and your shit. the next morning, Jake calls me back and says, "Yo, man, thirty-five thousand dollars will get me one week, and then another thirty-five thousand will get me another week." This man, you already paid him six hundred and thirty thousand dollars. Six hundred and thirty thousand dollars for something that had to work. It's taken like a year. It was supposed to take like. Not that long. <laughs> and he wants 35 grand a week? What? Like, what the fuck? Hi, hi, Wes, hello. How are you doing? And thanks. We, it's, it's so fun. I feel so honored and excited when I get to host events like that with Naraka. It's, it's truly like something so special and fun. So uh, thank you so much. How have you been? I laugh. I started laughing. Yeah. Of course. This same day, too, Dude, that Jake says this who can, will drop a massive bombshell. How could you take anyone here. seriously who asked for that? This is Oompavel, and he got scammed out of a million dollars so trying to open a candy business. Are sitting in my warehouse, and I'm walking around being a dick, making fun of everybody. Uh, not forced, but just Will, just kind of poking fun at him. He's looking stressed. I feel like a bully in this moment. Literally, because oh. I'm mad. Uh, and Jake just is trying to siphon more money out of me, and I think that Will is his counterpart. So mm -hmm. this dude who is fucking me over is in my warehouse. I've been nice to him. I've paid his wages uh, when I didn't have to. So I've been over backwards for this guy, and I just, you know, dude, how do you guys not know how to, how did you not know how to make this? Didn't you guys literally make all this? Didn't you I got a fuzz this? in my mouth. And he says, we didn't design this. And I was like, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did you make it? No, we didn't make this. Huh? <laughs> he thought... He thought that they made this machine this whole time. They've been tinkering and dicking around with it. He's like, no, what do you mean, man? You thought we made it? We didn't make it? What do you mean? You what six, was going through your head 600 grand for it. I was really confused. Um, <laughs> I thought that there was at least some level of understanding that we didn't build it. I guess I was really confused about how I thought everybody knew, um, or at least had put together the pieces that there is no way that we built anything like this. And I looked at Forrest <laughs> and we had a moment in which we were going to consume Will. We looked at each other and we were going to consume him and eat him and sacrifice his heart to the, to the blood gods. I'm not even joking. It was so bad. Two years of stress and risk culminated into one moment of us finding out that I just got fucked over hard by a guy that was my friend that tried to get $70,000 from me a couple hours before for the promise of some fucking pipe dream. What did you think when Will exposed Jake's scam? I wondered about a lot of things anyways, so it all made sense once it all came out. How did you feel when they found out that they've been scammed? At first, I was like, it was, it was a lot to process because, man, we'd been waiting on it for so long. Caleb had put so much money into it. And like, we were all like, just wanting it and believing in it so much. And like, it kind of felt like uh, it was maybe all gonna like come crumbling down for a moment. And then like, I feel like none of us really were like, oh, well, this isn't the end, you know? Because like, there was still- These dudes, I mean, it's, it's just, so Oompaville, this one, as a content creator, these are all his friends and the business they made. We still had a machine. We could still try but to make it work. But they got screwed and, uh, over like, by... No one, no one really got down too much. We pretty much just instantly were like, okay, now it's in our hands. He's a scammer. How are we going to make this work for ourselves? But it was like definitely a big blow. It was, it was terrible. And it like, it all, it all really made sense looking back on it. me! But uh, yeah, we were definitely, uh, definitely taken by surprise on that one. So Will's scared. He's like, uh, no, we didn't make it. And he shows me a This part, uh, this part, a, his a face. From Jake buying the machine. Literally everything that we had in my warehouse was bought, pre-made, 
from China. China, dude. I was squirting and pissing and shitting everywhere. I was so mad and so angry. I could not believe it. Um, actually, I could believe it. It all started to make sense, <laughs> actually. Uh, the, the pictures he sent me from the from the old boys in the fab shop. These dudes like need hugs. They do. Hi, <laughs> Dude, dude, because he's trying to make like all American made candy. That was part of his business model. And he was having the machine made in America too. And that's why he paid these guys all the money too. That's just from fucking Mugu Guy Pan. Some fucking somewhere in China made. All right. And to be fair, the people who made it are very nice people. Our friends in China, they're incredible. They're easy to talk to. Um, so, but in the moment, I was mad as fuck because my made in America machine, <laughs> it was made in Georgia by my friend. Who I have a personal connection with is just it's all big lie the best part of all it's this, so guys, bad I'm a million dollars in right set over 700,000 oh to God. just Jake not including the 70,000 that he wanted that I never yeah he tried to scheme out of 70 the, grand the for two more weeks was. how much a hundred and forty three thousand dollars <laughs> for the machine from China look at his face so he paid so, over $630,000, plus all the other stuff he's invested. That's just for the machine. The two warehouses, all this other stuff, plus the wages he's paying everyone. And to have this, and it's been a year, and he's been waiting this whole time, thinking it would, he was homeless for a while, living in the, the, the thing. He's consumed all of this debt, and he sees the receipt. And they only paid what, like a hundred, what it was it, 140 grand for it. And he paid them over 600 and they keep asking for more. $143,000. Ah, oh, look at his face. The, 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 the Sam, bro. Like, oh, he's, I would cry. For the machine. He's from just China. trying to start a candy company. So he basically charged me $350,000 <laughs> to ship a machine from China and not set it up and also not give all of it to me. Bit of a scam, I'd say. Bit of a fucking scam. I haven't talked to him since. I've tried calling him, but I haven't talked to him since. Oh, it hurts. So what's the status of the candy now? Um, well, actually. It feels so bad. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Better than ever. And I should make this clear too. I hope Will, it all turns out really good. for him, for his life, for his honesty, for his ability to stand up to fear to change his life completely um he now is a good friend of mine he helped he was lied to just as much as i was the dude was completely in the dark <laughs> he's and he so nice now, which is on the precipice the precipice of ultimate success all right i'm kicking my feet i'm so excited Aww. what do you think about jake now knowing what you know now i don't want him good in jail at the very least God. i mean he financially ruined my family <laughs> um, he had been short on paying me, and I've racked up credit card cut, debt covered it, and all of a sudden, a three-day <sighs> work trip is turning into moving my entire family and all of our pets a thousand miles away, and it's, it's unbelievably frustrating, because I thought I knew him. I trusted him, at the very least. You know, we had hung out online and played some games, and now it's, I'm thrust in the middle of this enormous lie and my wife and I are trying to pick up the pieces of some kind of life through the middle of this. It's what do you so think bad. should be done about Jake? I think we should keep him and, <laughs> and get the <laughs> face. What do you think should be done now? I think Jake needs to get every single thing coming to him. Uh, and this is mom. It's just, what do you think of Fortnite? Uh, Fortnite. I don't know much about video, video games. Um, did Caleb used to play that? No, it was Minecraft that he used to play. Did you ever play any of the mods he made? He was very particular about his mods. In fact, when he was like 10, some guy s tried to steal one of his mods and he was very... Um, persistent in everything he did and he wrote a cease and desist letter as a 10 year old to this guy and was going to sue him and it worked and then the guy gave everything back or whatever and it worked out when he was 10. So what are you going to do about Jake?
such trolls, but... Oh, I'm so excited to see what comes out of it. I hope... Good lord, I hope that they get something out of it. Oh my gosh. What? That's his mom. That's his mom, man. Um, but like, oh man, it's, it's like, it's so, so the candy, yeah, 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 so hopefully the candy comes out. This was today! It came out today! Five hours ago, if you guys want to go, uh, watch it. Are you aware that Caleb has been scammed? Uh, it seems. Oh my gosh, dude, dude, it's, it's like, it's like crazy because like in the, in this kind of situation, right? The unfortunate thing is what the fuck do you do? What do you do? Because even if they can, like, he said, like, obviously they have like a contractual like stuff and everything at the end of the day, it's. Oh my gosh, it's so hard. It's so hard to do anything about this. Like, e even if you sue them and, like, you you do any of that, how do you make them pay you? So, like, in, like, uh, like at least in, like, civil court and, like, over stuff like that, like, you, you just because you win money from someone does it mean you can make them pay it to you it's kind of hard it's kind of hard and it's like hunting them down and doing uh, i i don't even know how you do it unless he's done like illegal stuff it's just horrible it's it's so horrible and like he said he's like accumulated so much loss and and like uh and 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 just <laughs> debt from it it's insane gunter thank you for 51 months how are you doing <laughs> hi but hopefully the the candy launches and it's super awesome huh um but anyway yeah yeah yeah, yeah. anyway hi gunter thank you for 51 months how are you doing <laughs> what is it Uh, but anyway, hi Gunter, how are you doing? Hello, hello. <laughs> we were just watching. Do you know who Oompaville is? Do you know? Do you know who Oompaville is? Oh, uh, we were just watching how he was scammed over out of a million dollars trying to uh to uh to, to start his own candy business. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there we were. That's what we we're watching. We're gonna play some Killer Frequency though. And finish that. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then tomorrow, let me turn this way down. Okay. And then tomorrow, uh, we have our charity event coming up, which is super exciting. Good night, Coolio. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you. Good night, good night, good night. But yeah, it's super, super exciting. We're raising money for Gamers Outreach. They've already raised over $100,000 yesterday, which is crazy. It's super exciting. Um, they're a charity who brings like tons of fun and like games and, and gaming to hospitals and everything and sick kids. And it's super, super cool. Also, we have spicy beans uh, uh, that I'll be eating um, every, what did we say, $25, which I am super anxious about. Hopefully I have enough beans. I actually don't Hi, know. Zuzu, <laughs> Yo, Plum, thank you so much for the 14 months. How are you doing? Hello. <laughs> No hype trains. I will I will cry. I've already had an emotional enough week as it is. How are you is everybody doing? I don't watch a lot of YouTube. Oh TT. See, I don't watch a lot of Twitch. I mostly watch YouTube. I'm like a YouTube addict. 
Although I, I kind of niche about who I watch. I don't actually watch that many different people. Yo, master plan almost complete. What is your master plan, Plum? How are you doing? Thanks for all the loves. Uh, give me a second. It's always laggy when it loads in like this and then it chills out. See, there it goes. <laughs> 20 hours more overtime of work, complete December. Yo, congrats, Plum. I'm proud of you. You only watch the same five movies, not much Twitch or YouTube. Yo, that's a mood. I, uh, it's the same thing. We were talking, like, people were talking about anime the other day in my chat. And it's like, they get so mad that I'm, like, not up to date on anime and stuff. And I'm like, you have no idea how, like, little I watch new things. I, it's like, I feel like my mental and everything, like, I'm so tired all the time that I can't, like, properly enjoy new things. So I end up being lazy and just listening to, like, YouTube in the background. Like, nothing I have to, like, socialize or, like, commit to. <sighs> or um re-watching like the same anime that I already know like what's gonna happen so it's not like <laughs> which is kind of dumb but yeah <laughs> okay um we'll get rid of that are you guys ready are you guys ready for killer frequency this time we're gonna be in yandere mode for this episode of it for karate <laughs> okay let's let's do it let's do it let me swap over should thick thighs not work we might have it off or my is my vtuber broken maybe that's what it is oh well there you go I'd be breaking everything. What a thumbnail. What a thumbnail for karate. I don't remember what we were doing, chat. Y'all remember what we were doing? Uh. Uh. Y'all remember what we were doing? Okay, objective. Head back down the basement. Oh, that's why I quit. That makes it... Oh, we get to talk in a southern accent now. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. We're doing the stuff, the things with the... the uh, yeah, I remember we did this whole thing and it was scary. And now Peggy's making us go back down the basement. Peggy, why don't you go down the basement yourself? Let me in. I don't want to go back down in the basement, all right? Tight. Peggy being like, mm, yo, Forrest, you can go down the basement. And I say to that, what do you mean, Peggy? What do you mean? We got the poopers over here. Got another pooper right there. And then we got uh, all the other rooms over here with the purple light. And then we go down here. We boop a scoop up there. Can't go out there. We go down there. And we go down to the basement. Look outside because someone's going to be looking through that eventually. And then I'm going to go over here. KFMA 189.16. The scream! <laughs> That's my friend Moppy. He's standing guard. All right. All right. I love that. Dude, they're going to use this this window as a freaking jump scare. Tell you what. I tell you what, Shay. I tell you what. We got to go down to a freaking murderer room. Mm-mm. 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 I got Broomy and I'm not afraid to use him. Okay. Do you do a misery adventure down in the basement? Ooh, ooh. Something really satisfying about the the plastic over items. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting distracted. Karate make a montage of all the times I get distracted because of the because apparently I have ADHD nervousness. down here 
here. Can, can somebody... Why haven't we closed this? This needs to go, like, closed. Is there a bite? Like... No way we just leave this open. <sighs> My anxiety... My anxiety creeps inside of me. <laughs> Closing the door behind me. I hate it. 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 Okay. I feel like the background is just a little quiet for you. A little hum. I can hear it. You can't. Okay, so the there's the... Hmm. A key? Was this always here? No! I must have missed it when I brought everything upstairs. No, you didn't! Chat, was this here before? I... I don't think it was. I hate this. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it! What are the fastest ways to a woman's heart except for Chidori? Uh, food? A puppy? Or a diamond ring? <laughs> Those are my, those are my three answers. Uh, is this? No. Mm. An ice machine? Hey, yo. Hey, Forrest. Peggy, give me some warning before yelling down the intercom. Sorry. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. That scared the bejeeber schmeebers out of me. What have you found, Forrest? I think I need to keep looking. All right, then. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. Peggy, I've found a tape and a map down here. A map of what? Looks like it might be to somewhere in this storage area. Weird. Well, maybe the tape will give us more information. Give it a play. Oh, why is there a tape player in here? George Barrow, 1968. That's when this all He says I need to follow the maps and find the tapes. I guess that's what this map is about. Hmm. I think we need to see what else is hidden down here. Be careful, Forrest. Keep looking. Mm. Go to you found something. I hate it. I hate it. Mm. And maybe we already copied a Ben and Jerry. Oh. I need to eat more ice cream. I actually really like ice cream and I tend to just not eat it that often. He says there's a map. What is this? This is the same map of the town up above. What it? What do you mean? Like, am I crazy?
I hate that. I hate I hate it. Me, dude, how long do you uh do you have the knife? I just have it on right now. I turned it on because I felt like Oh bickering. Thought it'd be fun. Felt like Yandere mode was fun for this. Delivery installed. Does this matter, you think? Those are dead bugs. Okay, I see it. What just happened? Did I miss a jump scare? That felt like, like a jump scare, but I'm just like... Backing all my stuff. It's in a good spot. Can't open that. System overview, important. Battery hatch. Factory ass. Starling system model security. We're gonna need that. It has a code on it. I can already sniff the game, gearing up for it. Okay. Right there. Anything else? Oh. I think the picture is the map like a clue oh okay i i mean i guess that makes sense of the picture but yeah here is just an ex uh it's just expensive we did like two liter be ben and jerry and one liter chocolate all with organic ingredients for the price of one small non yo that's a good deal oh wait there's another one here I hate this. I don't want to click them. I don't want to click them. I do not want to click them. This looks useful. I don't want to click them. I'm so anxious. Okay, fine. Screw it. Okay, here we go. Emotional damage. Chat. Cause of death is asphyxiation from drowning. The degree of rigor mortis indicates that the subject has been deceased for five hours. That puts the time of death. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. <sighs> Small lacerations to arms, legs, and face. I am not, dude, as close to a jump scare as we got, dude. That was scary. That was scary. You're mean, origami. You're mean. Oh. Preliminary toxicology results shows no signs of inebriation. Stress. I have an overactive adrenal gland, and my uh my um last test I had, I was over double the normal length, almost triple of the normal average of cortisol in the body on a peaceful time or a stressful time. I have severe over uh active adrenal gland without having Cushing's disease, but having Cushing's disease symptoms it's it's great it's great they don't do anything about it anxiety what's the, what do i do with that why do i have that oh hello
Additionally, there appears to be a post-mortem injury to the arm. Post-mortem? There's some Coke. I don't have any Pepsi right now. Chat! You know what? I should add Pepsi onto my wish list. <laughs> I need to add cases of Pepsi onto my wish list so you guys can feed my addiction and my extreme cholesterol level. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm being morbid about medical things. My anxiety is coming out of me. And I, I'm talking about weird things. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I uh, save me. I only have Coke in the house, okay? And flavored Pepsi's, not the, not the OG, okay? <sighs> I mean, I do love glitch. I do love glitch, but I don't. Ooh, a new vinyl for my collection. I don't actually drink it that, that often. Once, once a day, you know. I like the bubbles. I like the bubbles. I make bubbly glitch often. I just... Uh, oh my gosh. I'm having anxiety burps. I'm having anxiety burps, chat. <sighs> okay. Oh. Humpty Dumpty. A story of love, tragedy, and betrayal. What the? Bad! Likes to stay informed. I've got subscriptions to newspapers all over the country. A few weeks ago, I noticed headlines cropping up in those papers, one after the other. Each headline about a murder. Each murder, the death of someone I knew almost 20 years ago. And each one drawing closer to gallows creek drawing closer to the anniversary none of us are innocent but i don't think we deserve killing all i hope now is that i can save some folk from the worst that i can i don't know oh say that I should say but my employer made it clear that my family would pay a high price if I ever spoke out so hopefully I've said enough for you listener whoever the hell you are to start putting the truth together what the hell Peggy is not going to believe this. Are you telling me that the radio show owner is who's causing this? And that the, or somebody has dirt on a bunch of people from before, right? From whatever happened X, Y, Z years ago, right? And is causing havoc, right? I'm organizing my desk. Because <laughs> I'm going to bring some of it upstairs with me. So... So they did something. There was a group of them. And they know something from years ago. And now they're rapidly being murdered. Oh. The police department at 4 a.m. a call was received from a jogger, a Miss Sandra Sharp, reporting that a body had been found and washed up at the reservoir drove. Out to investigation was able to identify the body of the scene as that of George Barrow. A contact of the coroner's office and the boy's parents. They informed that they had hadn't seen him since 7 p.m. on the 2nd. It was the 3rd. 
right? Yeah. What have you found, Forrest? It's an autopsy. I, I literally hate it. Doesn't say for who. <laughs> I hate it. I think it must be for George. Poor George. He was so young. I love him, Milo. Me, Peggy. Hi, everybody. What do you mean? I swear I recognize the voice of the woman talking on the tape. I just can't place it. Seriously? Oh, that's weird. You've met her before? That's really weird. I don't know. I mean, I just got here recently. I don't know. Found another tape that talks more about how George died. Yo, I'm okay, King. Don't worry. <laughs> it sounds Shush, like bloom. he was running for his life. Sprinting through trees and bushes, getting cut up all over. What would drive someone to do that? I'm not sure yet. There's also a tape about a toxicology report. There were no signs of drinking or that he was on anything. What? But everyone said he went swimming drunk and drowned. It was in the newspaper and everything. I found a tape that introduces a new detail to the story. Post-mortem injury. Apparently, his arm got caught in a car door. A car door? Yeah, I wish I would have went upstairs <laughs> before telling her tell? this. How can they tell? I'm a radio producer. Hey, hey, hey. Hmm. The written report I found doesn't mention it at all. How did his arm get trapped in a car door after he died? I need the Pepsi. Unless he got it when the police collected his body. I guess someone else must have moved him after he was dead to where he was eventually found. But the report. That's what really weird. I found a police report. Mentions a friend from earlier. Sandra Sharp. Jazz runner? That's right. She found George's body washed up at the reservoir. The reservoir? Yeah. What's strange about that? George got cuts from running through foliage, right? But there's no forest around there. Also, how did it wash up at the reservoir? What do you mean? Reservoirs don't have tides. But oh. That's what the police report said. It's not possible, though. I did a school project on reservoirs and got an A. <laughs> but, yeah, not important right now. The important thing is that it doesn't make sense. I'm scared. What are you suggesting then? That the body was originally found somewhere other than what the report suggests. That the sheriff tried to cover it up, but accidentally let something slip? Something like that, I think. Well, Sheriff Matthews wrote the report. If he hadn't been eviscerated, we could have asked him. True. But Sandra is still alive. Once we're done down here, we should mm. get on a call. I, um, I think I found Clive's last recording. I think Clive might be gone. Gone? I found a confession. Not for any killings, but for playing a part in covering up George's death. He left this behind in case he died. He hoped someone would find it. You... Do you think the whistling man already got him? Possibly. Well, why did we We've just randomly find the tonight, key? The key wasn't there before. Maybe not every victim made it to the phone, you know? We don't know how many there really are. Christ, Forrest, that's dark. I know, but Clive <laughs> said he read about other murders in other towns, and that the murders were all folks who knew about the incident. That is and weird. the killings were getting closer to Gallows Creek. He said he wanted to do something good for once. The board in his office. He wasn't tracking people down to kill them. That's why I was wondering if he's just investigating it. Them. Yeah. Uh, why didn't he just come out with all of this? Uh, he said his employer threatened his family if he spoke out about any of it. His employer? The one who orchestrated the cover-up? Maybe that. Oh, maybe that's what it is. Life. I'm sorry for thinking you killed all those people. Oh. You found everything for us? There's got to be more down here. What? I need to find all the tapes. What? I think so. How much did Clive hide down there? Well, if there are more tapes, then there must be more maps to follow, right? That seems to be the case. All right, then. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. Do we only let them to four? What did we miss? We did that 
that one. Hi, Blitex. Hi, everybody. How is everybody doing? Back to normal streams again. Sorry for taking a few days off. We've listened to this one, right? <gasps> that scared me. Right? How is there more tapes? I I don't see how we missed something. There's not really more places to go. Unless it's not in this room. Thanks for being a friend. What do you mean there's more? I don't want there to be more. I want to be done. Maybe we need to like ring Peggy again. Like it's something like that. We were supposed to talk to her. Do you think you found everything for us? I think there's got to be more what? down here. I need to find all the tapes. You think so? How much did Clive hide down there? Well, if there are more tapes, then there must be more maps. Oh, this follow, one. Right? That seems to be the case. All right, then. Buzz the intercom when you find something and want to discuss it. Got that one for sure. We got that one for sure. And we got that one for sure. I think we already got this one. So confused it's just this one right and then there was a thing right there we already did that one i don't understand how there could possibly be more tapes we followed all of the pictures we definitely did all four of those keto john is knifey He's knifey. Uh, any back seaters in chat want to help? <laughs> There's more? What? In this room? What? Because I'm in the front seat. No! Co-gamer, help me! on a shelf low? How did I miss it? I'm just a ding dong. Hmm. This is such a weird back room. There's a broom. Just crap everywhere. They glow though, so I just don't understand. We already listened to this one, didn't we? Yeah, we just did that one. Before the last room? Where? We already listened to that one. We already did that one. I'm so confoofled.
I'm gonna pull my neck. Where are they? Tell me the tea trap. Karate, help me. Where where's the where's the tape? Do I need to leave? What? Where are you trying to find? Apparently there's one more tape I need to listen to or something, but it's weird because I followed all of these. It's in a cabinet? Okay. You missed a photo? We can't open that one. Nothing there. There's a photo on the near the tape that had a fan. Okay. Oh. I feel like I've opened all those though. Where is that? Hopefully something spooky doesn't happen when it they open it. <laughs> Is it in the last room? Where... Where is that? Am I crazy? Might be in the last... Yeah, surely. Oh. Can I pick up any of these? I swear I opened this. Oh, guess not. This has to be important. I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia. The deceased is a Caucasian male, age 18. The, na the cause of the death is established... Established to be drowning to shown by the signs of asphyxiation. Uh, ab abrasions have been found on the knuckles, likely... Getting into fights in the past. No other injuries. Additionally, preliminary toxic uh, deceased had a high level of blood in their alcohol. She changed it. It is the coroner's opinion that the subject likely feared for his life and was chased, resulting in a fall from a height into a body of water where he hit his head, was knocked out, and drowned. Following that, he was moved. Who was that? Who was that? Oh, there's a heist! Yo, I got knifey out for protection. For protection, obviously. Yo, that's scary! Who was that? There's a moth. Okay. Time to get the frick out of here. I don't know what the button is to sprint. Can I leave? What have you found, Forrest? In another tape, the coroner comes to the same conclusion as I did. Emotional yeah. damage! Something. Maybe an animal? Maybe, but then there's this next bit where the coroner thinks he was moved post-death. So she agrees with us. At the end of the tape, someone burst in and demanded the doctor, uh, Dr. Sullivan, to stop recording. Oh, before you went and sent the college part. Oh, Sullivan? she was her caller from earlier. Well, then Robert, our you're right. Caller was involved in the conspiracy around this boy's death. We need to call her back once we finish down here. It looks like she might know something about what's going on. I'm so scared. I found a written autopsy report. What does it say? According to that, it's just like you said at the start. George drowned after getting drunk. Said he liked to fight, too. Contradicts the tape. I know, and I think I know why. 
There's a note with a report that says, I'm sorry I made you do this, Virginia. If it was on the autopsy report, then Virginia must be our coroner. Wait, the caller from earlier, when we had to call the takeout restaurant, wasn't her name Virginia? Do you think you found everything? <sighs> I think so. Forrest, what's going on here? Someone wanted that boy's death to seem like an accident. And they hired Clive to make it look that way. Mm. Come back upstairs when you're ready. We need to figure out our next step. I am so... Oh. Is it gonna make me walk up there? Or do I get to just go up there? Because that would be nice. Thank God you're Thank back for Thank goodness! I've been running out of stuff to pad oh. our with. Peggy, you work in radio. Forrest, I'm stressed. Thank God. I mean, really? How are we supposed to keep a show going with all this happening? I don't know. Beats me. Beats me. But we gotta do it and we're going to. <sighs> You're right. So, what's Ugh. the plan now? I think we should call Virginia back. All right. I'll get her on the line. Good lord. Okay, Forrest. Shut the music off. Here we go, boys! Here Hello we go! Again, Gallows Creek. This is Forrest Nash. <laughs> we're circling closer to the truth behind tonight's events. To this end, we're calling back one of our earlier callers, Virginia Sullivan. It's a little louder than I thought. Yeah, it's so good, Remus. Hi, Remus. How are you doing? Plunker here. Who's this? Plunker. Um, sure. Let's go. <laughs> also, let me save the game. Ghost, 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 ghost. Where are you? Get your ass here. The, the voice acting so good. Oh, cool. Where's it moved to? This old lady's house. Oh, she's pretty cool, though. Dude, she said we could raid her liquor cabinet if we stayed and protected her. Yo. Of course, we're not drinking anymore. We're staying sharp in case that whistling turd turns back up. Hey, yo. The old lady might need our help. Of course, man. Of course. Hey, could you put me on with the old lady? You know, to check if it's cool for me to drop by. Oh, there's that goose respect we love. <laughs> <laughs> I'll grab her now. Booger and goose. Hello? Is this... <clears throat> hey, uh, Dr. Sullivan. Who is this? Hey, Virginia, it's Forrest. I'm I'm glad you're still okay. Oh, Forrest. Sorry, I'm still jumpy. Um, uh, don't be don't sorry. Don't be sorry, you've been through a lot. I'm so sorry this happened to you, Virginia. I thought I was. I thought... Easy. We're not calling to talk about earlier. We're calling because we think you can help us understand why this is happening tonight. I have chocolate. Me? What would I know? I don't know where Goose is. You're right. Well, can you think of any reason why you'd have been targeted? No, I don't think so. All right. What about what she when said you earlier? Earlier, you mentioned a name. Clive. I don't know what I said then. I was petrified, Forrest. Clive's the janitor at our station, and we know you spoke to him in the past. Forrest, please. You don't know what you're doing. Oh, gosh. Come for me. Virginia, it's okay. Clive won't be coming after you. We think Clive's dead. Dead? But isn't he? He's the whistling man. No, he's not. Why so Why are certain? You so certain Clive's the whistling man. Because he, all those years ago, he. It's okay, Virginia. He's gone. We found evidence to suggest he. Well. And we found your autopsy report. Oh for shit! George Barrow. How? I saw him destroy them. Well, he didn't. I don't know if he kept them or made copies or what, but we found them, and we know it's related to what's happening tonight, which is why we called you. 
Why did you write a false report? I... All right. One day, I came into work to find a... a boy on my slab. And as I finished the autopsy, this man climbed... Mantra! Just burst in. Thank you! Hi! He started making demands to give over the reports, to falsify what I found. Of course, I just said never no, mind. But, well, when someone wants to make you do something, they can use the carrot or the stick. For me, he used both. You see, my sister is sick. She has a chronic condition that's never going away. It's expensive to treat, and it was getting to where I couldn't afford it. Oh, you can't pull it. Hi, man. Yeah, we start tomorrow. I have spicy beans. I'm nervous for it. <laughs> and Clive promised me that his employer would pay for my sister's treatment. Mm. If I did what he said. And that if I ever spoke about this, he'd be... Then why did they kill the boy, life. though? That's... I don't know why he had What's the motive it, but of why they killed him to begin with? My sister needed me. You have to understand. She needed me. We understand. I don't know, it's pretty bad. Thank you, Virginia. That was brave. God, I it just want this nightmare to end. This will help end it, Virginia. Thank you. Stay safe, Virginia. Avalon, yo, you need to leave. Why are you up if you have to get up in the morning, Nameless? Bonk, bonk. Dude, this game is so good, man. For all the voice acting is... It's really good. It's spooky. Very good game. Definitely check it out. So, Virginia is tied up in all of this. Clive threatened her to keep quiet about George's death. But for who? Why cover up these details? Oh, I ate all my chocolate, chat. Big well, sad. we know Sandra was involved in George's death. Do you want to call her? I do. Oh, then right. have good so sleepies. Go asking questions, go take a rest. I think we should know what we want to ask. Is that fair? Yeah, we need to ask her about finding the body. She was the. Yo, don't you dare start a hype train in my chat! I swear to God, what are you guys doing? Fuck, fuck! <laughs> Hi. Oh my goodness gracious! How is everybody doing? Thanks for coming and hanging out. Hello, hello. Sleep is for the weak. No, it's for the strong. For the strong. No, 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 no. No hype trains. Bad chat. Bad. I hope you enjoyed this lovey though, and the emotes and stuff. You guys have to help me get through the spookies. Well, discovered it, but something just doesn't add up. A hundred percent. She knows more than she's saying. All right. I was bringing Knifey back for protection. I wonder what she's hiding. We'll hopefully find out soon. Anyway, just be careful when you're talking to her. Don't push too hard. We don't want her to hang up. I'll be careful. No! All right. Hopefully she's at her jazz studio. You weirdo! Don't get thinking about 42 months! Stop! No! Uh -huh. Forrest, you're through. Hello. Get out of here! Jazz for Jazz Jazz Studio. Who is this? Hello again, uh, Sandra. Jazz for Jazz Jazz Studio. It's Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And Hold on. Thank you guys for the hype train. You guys, get air. out of here! Bad chat, bad! Thank you for the other face. Thank you for 42 months. You guys, do are. Thank you for all the love. Thanks for hanging out. I gotta be weird getting used to calling people my nameless instead of nature. Oh yeah, for the change. Oh yeah, because it's the first thing in there instead of nature, man. 42 quadrillion yet, yeah, dude. It's just, it's, can you believe we've even been on the internet that long? <laughs> How are you doing, Docker? How have you been? Thank you guys for all the love and the hype train. Thanks for chilling with me. We're playing spoopy game, trying to get through it. And everything, it, we're, I think we're nearing the end. Have a good drive home. Be safe. <laughs> oh, I always thought folks called into a radio show, not the other way around. How's Jazzy? What can I do for you? How uh, Jazzy? Well, <laughs> what can I do for to you? Understand what's behind the attacks tonight? We had a few questions. Why, Forrest? Of course. Heck, after the way you saved my life, I'd say yes to just about anything you asked. Mm. 
<laughs> chat why were you targeted be serious that sounds nice uh i don't i don't even know what i'm supposed to say to her dude how have we been uh, around so long good night man for all i'll be on earlier tomorrow thank you for the lurk uh for a charity stream we'll be starting uh 6 p.m pacific which is 7 p.m my time so two hours before this today stream started <sighs> but yeah you still got a good hour or two left okay okay um be serious i'm calling to talk about death and murder sandra be serious oh you go right to it huh <laughs> oh i don't know as much about that as i do jazz and jazz dancing but i'll try what do you want to ask me do what? you know why okay. the whistling man might have targeted you ha as far as i can tell he's just a knight wielding psycho with superhuman cardio he'd have chased after anybody right well we think he might be chasing specific people. People who know about the death of a boy named George. Oh, I don't know anything about that. Sorry. You found the body? Are you keeping secrets? Don't play it. <laughs> what do we do? We do! He said not to push her too hard because she's jumpy! Uh, you found the body? Just be... I mean, she did find the body. Right? Don't play games. Which one? I've been good. I got a debut DJ set coming through. And <gasps> for now, it's a major. Yo, congratulations. That's amazing. You guys want one? One and three. Yeah, no keeping the one. Okay, Sandra, everybody vote one now. We know you found George's body. We have the police report. I, I don't know what you mean. Uh oh. Don't be, I, don't be a liar or it's okay. I feel like we don't want to push her too much, right? Or she won't talk to us. Right? Uh, uh, two, don't be a liar. Push her. Number one. Okay, somebody break the tie. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay, Sandra. Bad doctor, We're bad. Not. Yes, of course. This studio is my life. After I found the body in the river, I couldn't lose my studio. You understand? Yeah, of sure. course. I understand. When the rent just kept going up, he said he'd stop if I just needed to keep quiet. And everything would be okay. Of course? Who was he or that low? What do you think, chat? Two? One? One? Like, why? Of course. Okay. We understand. I mean, it's not like I killed him. What was the harm in saying I found him in the reservoir instead of the river? Right? Oh, no. I'm sorry. I can't do this. No, we lost her. Gone. Thank you for the hydrogen. I don't think that could have gone any better. Yeah. You truly did great, Forrest. Yay! Well, folks, if anyone out there has any thoughts on what's going on tonight, please call in. That's good timing. We've got a call waiting just this second. Oh. Welcome to 189.16 The Scream with me, your host, Forrest Nash. Hi, Forrest. I know this is really out of the blue with everything happening tonight. But I wondered if you could but send I wondered. a birthday message to Birthday. Uh, sure, why you not? Know what? <laughs> I'd welcome a change of pace. Yeah. I'd be glad to. Thank you, Boris. He's my Uncle Ronnie. His first name's Peter, but he never liked his name. But since he always had salt and pepper hair, Always called him Pepper. Uh, thanks for the history lesson. The mic is stuck. Besides, happy birthday. You would like to say to Mr. Pepper. Oh my God, damn it! Yes. Tell him he can get the best birthday deals and party packages here. No! Party it's party! Sorry, stop calling us. Sorry, Forrest. Let's Party's just move on. Back! We've already got another caller on the line. 
Ponte Pizza. The Scream. I'm Forrest Nash. You're on the air, caller. <laughs> caller. You laughing? <sighs> Ponty. Ponty! No! Come rain or sleet or west like man, we'll be there. <laughs> Forest? Forest? Are you okay? My mics are stuck in their <sighs> little spots. Forest? I hope the whistling man gets in with his own pizza slicer. Jesus, Forest. <laughs> sorry, sorry. That was that was too much. It's okay. It's been a high stress night. Don't worry about him anymore, okay? Not for tonight, anyway. Put on I some tunes. Spent for now. We've got another call. Whenever Yay! you're ready. I want to listen to my tunes, Peggy. <sighs> Folks. Don't spend your money at Pawnee's Pizza. <laughs> that's all I'm going to say about that. Oh my gosh, that's rough. Moving along, I'd like to welcome another caller to 189.16 The Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Who may I say Scream. is Scream! Well, hello again, Forrest. Don. Don? We played your song, Long Ride Home. Did you hear it? Can you tell us? Uh, never mind that now. Forrest, I'm calling. What? Help. What? Are you in danger? Oh, I sure am. Do you mean? Yes, he's after me now. You? I think so. He must have heard me on the radio helping you. Dawn is not on the, the helping. Helping? You didn't exactly. Yeah, he help. never. She never Maybe brought the I've info. Been helping more than you know. I was out following a lead trying to work out who would be next after Chuck. And what happened? And I started to feel like I was being followed. So I came back to my apartment building, but this newfangled security system has me locked out. Hey, <laughs> guess, guess what I have, chat? User manual. Ah, these codes should come in handy. Look where they have. Look what I have! Uh, ask a neighbor, go elsewhere, use a key. I don't remember. Don't you have a key to get in? Only for the apartment door. Oh. The front gate requires an entry code. The future is electronic, I guess. Sorry, River. I need that code to get inside. Which apartment block do you live in? I guess not. Maybe King. one of our listeners lives there too. It's the New Woodside Apartment. I doubt any of your listeners live there. I don't have many neighbors. Sounds like a prime piece of real estate. <laughs> Sound really carries at night. <laughs> Shit. Puppy! Noisy part of town, not a dog person? Yeah, what the heck? What about the dog? I'm guessing you're not a dog person. No, I'm not. <gasps> my neighbor's dog. How oh, yeah, dare you! Thing and, oh. And now he's blasting David Scopo out of his window. Listen, I can't get any. The whistling man. She's a psycho. He's coming down the street. I don't think he's seen me yet. Forrest, please. I need your help. I need the code for that security system, or I'm gonna die. Security code, like an entry code. That one, seven one five nine one four. What's the name of the security system? Uh, there's a sticker on the box. It says Starling Security 4000. There's a keypad, and it looks like it wants a, a six digit number. I already have it. Uh, uh. Starling Security 4000. Huh? I got it, guys. Very newly installed. I need the key code before the whistling man gets me. Yeah, of course. Don't worry, Don. Thank you, Forrest. I knew I could count on you. I'll stay out of sight. Do do we want the alarm right, though? Folks, here's a little tune. Do we want, want security enjoy, measures? While I try to break Dawn into her apartment. 
You were pretty quiet there, Peggy. Forest, was it just Yeah, me? is it just entry? Or was there something... Yeah, it wasn't just you. Something was weird about that. Yeah. Well, tell you what. We have a Starling 4000 or whatever here at Cave Camp. What? Clive bought one for the station. Maybe we can find something to help. What if Dawn's well, the killer? Sure who, but to help someone. What if Dawn's the killer? She's using us to get in to kill somebody else. <sighs> okay, so she's locked out of the Woodside Apartments and somewhere Clive probably has the papers for the Starling 4000. Welcome back, Forrest. Find anything? We'll let her Stalling in, but I don't know if I... But I better hear whistling when she calls us. Good. And did you find anything else? Nothing, except the manual. All right. Well, I'll get Dom back on the Was line I supposed to Forrest. have something else? I'll let you take it from here. Thanks, Peggy. When you're ready, shut the music off. Line one, whenever you're ready. I missed something! What do I got? Do I go get it right now, Karate? Do I run and go get it? What did I miss? What did I? Yo! Azur, how was your stream? How was Dino Crisis? Tell me the tea. How was it? Tell me the tea. Hi! A paper? Okay. Go get it. I'm gonna 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 go get it. It was in here, right? Autopsy. Order delivery form. Okay. Starling must have left this by accident. The system's not even installed at Woodside. Oh, so we would have screwed up? You guys gotta add as it you oh I'm sorry. I thought I had it so that it wouldn't do that. Is it let me know when you guys are back. Hello! Second playthrough? Adept, hello, hi! Hi Floyd, hello! Sorry for the ad. Hello, hello, hello. That's sus. Dawn is a liar. Is she trying to break into our building? Would sh chat if we if we give her if we would have given her the Starling Systems code would she have broken in? Peggy! Oh my gosh. I'm scared. Uh, I'm gonna bring this over. Oh! What? Could we do that all along? Oh! That would have been nice. Okay, anyway. Hi! How was your stream though, you guys? Please go give us a round of love. He's so sweet. Please, please, please. How is your stream, though? I hope you're doing well. Was waiting till you figured that out. Oh, my God. Okay. Don, are you there? This is Forrest Nash from 189.16, The Stream. I'm so oh, nervous. Back. I'm so afraid. What's the code to the gate? Dude, what do we give her? Do we do we call her out on it? We don't call her out on it. We just set the alarm. Hey, Hunter Boo. Do we give her the alarm test activation code? Yeah, don't deactivate it. Maintenance. Yeah. The code is one nine one five one nine. That is Thank scary. You, Is our son of a bitch? 
Get back inside and the tell roller the rink had the dog. She was, she was trying to break into the ring. She, Forrest, man, you got no idea. That was him. That was the whistling. I knew it. The alarm gave me just enough time to get my rifle. To... I don't like hurting folks, but I can't let anything happen to Maxie. He's my best friend. You know? She was gonna get I... Maxie. Listen, man, get back inside. You gotta barricade that window, my man. Thank you. You and Peggy can skate for free whenever you want. Forever. That's a done deal. Oh my I'm... gosh! Thanks, Ricky. Can't wait. That's why we didn't hear the whistling ran. Okay, Gallows Creek. Here's some music while we process what just happened. Bro, she's gonna come get us. She gonna come get us. Oh my gosh, dude. Don is the 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 whistling man. Don is the killer. Oh! So, the whistling man is a woman? Wait, who's been murdered? I had no idea. I had no idea. I don't know if we were supposed to know. I know. I, I can't believe it. She called up. You spoke to her multiple times. Yeah, no, I thought she was just regular Gallows Creek strength. Yeah. She was just regular Gallows Creek strength. Dude, she's gonna come get us really, now. Forrest? Why do you think she requested that song? To get me outside to mess with us? Maybe she actually wanted... No. To get me outside? Did she Maybe, come in here? But how? She didn't know the song was outside to start with. Maybe That's she right. did. She never actually attacked me out there. So? What now? I guess I should make an announcement. We do have new info. Okay, kill the music and you can make the announcement. Okay, you're live in three, two. Dude, I'm hey folks, anxious. This is Forrest Nash here. I hope you're all safely locked inside. For those of you listening to that last call, you might be wondering what to make of it all. Here's our take. We now believe the killer is actually a woman. One who might manipulate you into letting her in before she attacks you. I don't know. I feel like the, the, no one. It's you shouldn't trust say, anyone. But it's time to trust no one. Yeah. The killer was calling themselves Don. I feel like it's probably a fake name. This could be a fake name. I, I don't know what you're talking about, Zara. I'm not holding a knife. You're you holding a knife. Info on the killer. Please call in. You folks have my new number, right? It's 911. Hopefully, our next caller can help shed some light on our killer. <laughs> hey, we had a call come in. Okay, folks, time to take a call. You're through to Forrest Nash on 189.16, The Scream. Hey, man. Murphy? Damn straight. What's going Damn on, Murphy? Damn straight. What up, Murphy? No, nah, man. I've just been listening to the show here at home. And since you asked folks to call in if they could help out, well, I'm calling. I don't know if I can say as much as other folks have, but uh, I figure I wouldn't be a good role model to Fernando if I didn't try to help. I mean, it is Fernando's birthday. You're a good fault. Appreciate it. Is that how you spell appreciate it? Weird. Uh, what have you got? You're, yeah, you're good you're then. You're a good father, Murphy. Absolutely. Fernando's a lucky kid. Oh, Poor thanks. little Fernando. Almost so, His dad almost died. Well, what can you tell us? Uh, I don't know, really. All right. Why'd well, he call do you, in? Do you know anything about the death of George Barrow? Absolutely nothing. Okay, what about the killer herself? Her 
first, Phil. <laughs> Man, I, I didn't get my ass kicked by a lady. Now I went toe-to-toe with it was a man, man. You heard the last call, right, Murphy? Yep. So you know it's a woman, and you were trained by a VHS, Murphy. I, I know, but... Man, There's more than one. How could it have been a woman under that mask? Let's just move on. Are we Do saying you know it, it? anything about the history of the Whistling Man? No, sir. Tonight's the first time I ever heard of him. What? I moved here three years ago, man. What do you want from me? Is there is there two killers right now? Grishiated? Oh, that's spelled wrong. I suppose. Oh, I, I just saw it and looked. Dude, I have horrible spelling, so I can't say. It. I just, but I saw it and I was like, that don't look right. Murphy burned the VHS. Dude, okay, okay, okay. He just moved in. So why would he be being targeted? Is there two whistling men right now? Three years, you never heard of the whistling ma Yeah. Hey, man, no worries. Just thank you for trying. Right. Why was he Sorry being... I couldn't help you all more, man. Now, if you'd have asked me about gators... Forrest, <laughs> we have a call coming in. Sorry, Murphy, I think that's all we've got hey, time for. Hey, I wanted to hear about the gators! All right, all right. I'll catch you all with the gator talk later. Yeah! Uh, well, folks, that was a bust. But perhaps our next caller. I want to hear about the gators down us. in the holler. Let's find out. Dang nabbit. Dang nabbit. Dang Peggy, I want to hear about them gators. This is Forrest Nash, and you're listening. Alligator is tasty. My name is Casey Moore. Oh. I'm a 25 Nancy Drive. My best friend's been stabbed. He's, oh. he's bleeding everywhere. I don't oh. know what to do. Please help me. Oh, Lord, it is happening all over again. Uh, uh. Is he still breathing? Is he still breathing? Yeah, but, but he's bleeding out fast. I really need help. Please. Take a breath. We are 911 monkey. We were heading back to his place when we heard this whistling all of a sudden. Oh, God. Just started freaking out. He screamed at me, told me to hide. I'd never seen him like that. And I, I just panicked and ran and hid in a bush. Oh, Good. No. Forest. Bush rat. He went up the bush road rat. Ooh, woo. Was it the whistling Casey, man? Was his attacker the whistling man? The who? I had a mask and wore all black? That's all I know. Please, we need help here. I'll get you help, but I need to know. Where did the masked person go? They left. They left him to bleed out. I waited until they were gone, then dragged him into the garage. And Let's take care of the bleeding dude. What? Why didn't she make sure he was dead? Maybe we should have asked if it was a woman or not, if they heard the voice. Drive, so we need an ambulance. There's Forrest, no ambulance. The ambulance was destroyed in the explosion at the gas station. You should get all the info you can. I'm saving again. I'm saving again. This is the spot. Okay. When they did say the whistling man is... A, I think there's more than one killer. I think. But I don't know. What's your friend's name? Where is he? uh yeah, it doesn't Can really you tell matter. Us where your friend was stabbed. They stabbed him in the stomach and then stabbed him again in his leg when he was on the ground and then Oh, the knife is still there in his leg. Don't pull What's your it friend's out. name, Casey? Jason, Jason Parker. We'll be right back. Peggy, patch us through to the hospital. On it. Phoning St. Gabriel's now. Switch to line 2. Hello, St. Gabriel's Hospital. How can I help you? Hi, this is Forrest Nash from 1 Nash, shut up! <clears throat> we have a stab victim at 25 Nancy Drive named Jason Parker. He's been stabbed in the stomach and the leg. He's bleeding heavily. Oh, God, I'm sorry. But the ambulance is... Well, you know. I know, but please, we need something or he's going to die. Forrest, I... Listen, you're going to have to get him here. We need to see him and we can't get there ourselves right now. We don't have any way to drive him right now. And even if we did, he's bleeding out fast. All right, 
Listen, we need to buy him time to get here. That means stopping the blood flow. Yeah, yeah. And finding someone to stabilize. Yeah. Him. To stabilize him, you really need someone with first aid training. Uh huh. Do either of you have any? No. no. Me neither. Ah, uh, damn it. I'm really sorry about this, but I have other patients who can't wait. All I can do is talk you through the procedure as quick as I can, and then leave the rest to you. Oh gosh. You can handle that. Uh, yeah, we can handle Hit it. Me. I'm sure we can handle it. Okay, from the top. If he's bleeding out, then you need to get him comfortable and try to stem the bleeding. Okay. Lay him down. Apply continuous pressure directly to the affected areas. Uh huh. When the bleeding slows, get a clean cloth of some kind and hold it over the wound. Uh huh. Get them comfortable. Apply pressure. Clean cloths when slowed. <laughs> Got it. I think. You said he was stabbed, right? If the object he was stabbed with is still in him, don't take yeah, it out. Yeah, don't take it out! It's stopping the worst of the bleeding right now. If anything, you should secure it so it stays where it is. Okay. I never even thought of that. It makes sense, though. God, that was a lot of info. But I think we can handle this. A healing, this. cauterizing so knife. <laughs> There's more! Okay, keep going. With you, let's go, let's go, let's what go. Else do you need to know? If he's lost a lot of blood, he may enter shock. Yep. If he does, act fast. Uh huh. If you apply the cloth and it's bleeding through, don't remove it. Just apply Just add another on top. On top. I already know all this. If it's safe, elevate his legs to get blood circulating yep. to his vital organs. Yep. Try to keep him warm. Yep. Get him to rest and reassure him. Yep. You need the patient to stay calm. Uh huh. <sighs> all right. Uh, don't replace bandages. Elevate his legs. Yep. Keep him warm yep. and calm. Yep. This is a lot. I'm really sorry. That's as much as I can give you right now. I didn't Try even need to call him. Find someone to get him stabilized and get him here as quick as you can. She didn't oh. really give us very good information right, of what to do if he's, he's in shock, honestly. Mind. But okay. Hello? Hello? Forrest, are you there? Uh, how is? Yeah, okay, okay. How I'm is here. Jason? How is Jason doing? Badly. He's still bleeding. I know. Oh. I know, Casey. Okay, good. But he's still bleeding. Uh-huh, no. I don't know what to do. It's fine. That's good, Casey. The nurse said to do that. No, what shit. What about the knife in his leg? No, it's take it out. No. It no. No. No, don't touch no, the don't knife. No, touch the knife. The bleeding will get worse if you pull it out. Oh, my Are lord. Sure? Everybody knows that. I'm sorry. I'm going to stop making suggestions. Yeah. No, don't worry, Casey. We're a team here. We're all going to get Jason through Oh, my this. Lord. Oh, my Casey, Lord. Is his leg wound bleeding right now? <laughs> I hate looking at that knife. Y yeah, yeah. It's bleeding. His stomach is worse, though. Uh, uh-huh, uh-huh, figure. Okay, we need to secure the knife. Leave the knife. Uh, we'll secure the knife. I think we need to secure the knife so it doesn't move around. Fine. Do you have anything you can tie around it? Uh, yeah. There's some laundry piled up on top of the dryer. Yep, yep, yep. Get on it. This will be in the next. What else? Uh, I guess I've got my jacket. Sure, sure, sure. Use the cleaning rags. Use the laundry. Use your jacket. Uh, uh, chat, 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 chat. Should we, should we use the laundry? It's clean. Secure it. Yay. Look in the laundry for something like a towel or a shirt. Hold that. Cleaning rags. Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to buy you some new whites, Jason. Here we go. I did it. Oh, God. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, Jason. I, fi I was thinking that it was clean laundry. I'm stupid. Well, I'm Cleaning rags to me it sound like they have chemicals on them. Okay. Wait, what did, what did she say? What did she say? What did she say? I don't know what she said. I don't know what she said. Oh, God. Casey, I'm going to have a quick word with Peggy. Keep putting that pressure on and let us know when the bleeding is ah, under short. control. Ah, shorts. You're doing great. But what if something happens? <laughs> we'll still be here. Just shout if you need anything. I don't know. We'll I Cleaning rags. Okay. I got like a whole pile okay. of dirty rags in my, my garage. I don't know. Okay. What's up, Peggy? We can't stay on the line with her all night. What the hell, Peggy? Dawn is still out there. What if other people need Shut us? Shut up. We got to get right. her to the hospital, Peggy. She's probably on her way to her next target right now. Oh, my exactly. God. And you heard the nurse. Oh my God! We need someone there with training who can stabilize him. Rev! He's got to get to the hospital somehow. Oh my gosh! 
Yo, yo. Hi, Russ. Thank you for 13 months. How are you doing? She'll have to drive him. Any suggestions? Could somebody nearby help? Could somebody nearby help them? Maybe drive them to the hospital? You know, that's exactly what I was wondering. Do you have anybody in mind? Peggy! Get on it! I might. A little before you started working here, KFAM did a mandatory oh, Lord. first aid training course. Me and Karen missed it because we were away on a... Yes, we wash our cleaning getaway. rags. I'm just saying, sometimes you gotta to pile the cleaning rags. They're not clean. So, how does KFAM's first aid course help us? Casey said they're at 25 Nancy Drive, right? Yeah? Why? They put up a bunch of cheap houses around there about 10 years ago. So a bunch of people here at the station live around there. Do you think any of them could help Casey and Jason? Probably, but I don't know who lives there. Ah! And since I missed the training day, I don't know who knows first aid. Could you call them and ask? I'm just, they're in the garage! Do you not just have a pile of rags that are like for wiping up grease and shit in your garage? My garage has car parts. Like, stuff for the yard and all that kind of shit, all right? Like, I don't got, I don't got no, like, the cleaning rigs are dirty. See, that's what I'm saying! Oh, the laundry was the correct call. Thank you! Because, yeah, it's clean laundry. See, chat? No! Is, was it not? She said she just did laundry, I thought. Dude, I'm just saying, I'm just saying the laundry wasn't dirty. Okay, okay, she says, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. See, I was right, chat. I'm just saying, usually, like, if you have, like, rags in your garage, like, they're not sterile. They just chilling in the garage, wiping up some grease or whatever. You might wash them, but they ain't gonna be good for a wound. Like, I would use just a towel out of my, I don't know, someone nearby. Okay, anyway, sorry. Know everybody's numbers. I've only ever called Karen. Everybody's personnel info is probably in Reggie's office. Oh my Got God! It. I'll look through their files in Reggie's office. How are it's a life or death situation? I'm sure they will. But I don't it. think someone right. nearby should be helping. But Remember, I said trust no one. Problems. Oh God! Wait, go on. Go on. It's sensitive information, so Reggie probably locked it in his safe. Great, <sighs> great. Do you have any idea what the combo for the safe could be? Not a clue. I gotta check my meds. Reggie's a serial note taker, though. Same. Maybe something in his office will give it away. Oh my lord. Right. There is something. Why didn't else. we stabilize like them before we Have sent you ever somebody? Heard the future is floppy. Peggy, what the hell are you talking about? Oh my god. I'm talking about floppy disks. I know what floppy disks floppy are. Floppy disks are like these futuristic things that <laughs> have information on them. You put them in a computer yep. and they do something. Peggy. I know what a floppy disk is. Anyway, Reggie decided that the future is floppy and started phasing out our physical records oh and replacing gosh. them with these floppy disks. Okay. I it's the same for our personnel files. That's good to know. Since we haven't heard anything from Casey, I'm guessing Jason's okay for now. I'll check out Reggie's office. You cut her off! Oh my. I'll just slide it under my door. Oh now. my God. Thanks, Peggy. <sighs> I just have to look around. Oh my gosh, dude. I feel like we didn't use floppy disks for that long. Good. I'll patch my mic down to the office. Okay. So you'll hear me over the intercom. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Man's bleeding out over here. Rev, how you doing? Thank you so much for all the love. How you doing? How you doing? Okay. I'm getting in there tonight. Is that not? Where's the office? What? You're a fly. No, you. Daddy Solo, how you doing? Is there a door in here? Like. What? Is there like an office that I am unaware of? Because like. Surely, surely. Yeah, it's downstairs. What's the door next? <sighs> Lordy. Oh, lordy, here we go again, down the stairs. I don't know why I've taken on a southern accent. It just feels right in this situation. It's break room. All right. Um. Oh, private? Is that one? That's not opening. How many doors are in this location? Uh... Wait, is my voice that much louder than the... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just freaking out over here. 
first aid insured er, uh, to the in, oh, first aid to the injured uh does it has success okay reginald scott has successfully completed it remember that chat remember that remember that oh my gosh the future is now floppy disk remember reggie jr's birthday is that not that last year was a disaster oh my gosh imagine All these people like spooky. Looks like I need a four-digit code. Ask forever. Need to write pitch document. Good title. Bring back original protagonist and villain. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he does like ask Genie where those tapes are. It's been over a week. Overdue. Live, if you're reading this, stop stealing my post-it notes. <laughs> I'm assuming it's Could this be it? Pizza delivery killer who kills with a pizza. This is just his own stuff. Okay. We need we need other floppies. Other floppies. Well, I have this. Oh, nine, ten. But I'm uh, presumably it's more than a, a f more floppies. Take place. Oh, that's true. Eleven oh seven. But where? Uh, where's the safe? Oh, duh. very important date. Oh nine ten. Maybe you're right. Eleven oh seven. Maybe you're right. Oh, a. Nice. more important oh lord more important than his child dude well look at this man personal file hedges john nash forest oh weaver peggy lost and karen carter bradley barbara okay wait 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 who is this scott reginald scott isn't in there do we do them all? Do we do them all? Oh my lord. Uh, care. I kind of want to read ours. I, I, okay, okay, hold on. Well, let's, uh, let's read ours first because this is uh, Reginald is right. Okay. How do I take it out? Oh. Is there a eject button? Aw, oh, okay. It's really satisfying. I'm assuming that we're fine. Put that back. Bloop. And then let's read Peggy's. <laughs> because I'm a snoop. Hey, Peggy. I think Reggie's on to you and Karen. Maybe okay. don't bring those little drink umbrellas into work for a Never while. Never seen somebody gel what with every... Why are you reading my file? <laughs> you need to find someone who can help Casey. We already know... Girl power. Don't waste time. You're right. I'm sorry. I need to focus on possible candidates. I can read the rest of this later. Grows after each session. Why are they doing training sessions at the bar? <laughs> That's funny. I enjoyed that. Okay, what's mine say? Get a load of this, Peggy. Apparently, I'm a lone wolf type. You're right. I'm sorry. I need to focus on possible candidates. I really shouldn't have read both. We're in a hurry. Hopefully, I'm not screwing myself up. I can read the letters later. Dude, I enjoyed that. Okay, you got uh, Lawson. Yeah, none of those are Reggie, right? the farts was that noise chat what was that noise 
Ron refused to engage with the first aid training during the course. I know he was a war medic, but it was station policy to send everybody. John apparently has a bunch of medical equipment in his home that he procured from the military. Uh, I know, I don't want to look. Spoke to John again about each for the free samples. So, uh, John is a war medic. I am spooked. Maybe John, maybe John, maybe John. Emotional damage. I don't know what the farts it was, man. Uh, Barbara is really getting on well with the staff. Barbara got another cat. Barbara laughed when I told her the concept of the horror thing. Wait, so Barbara and uh, Peggy didn't go, right? Uh, when I hired Brad at the station, and we only have three tickets. Da, 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 da. Bradley and Barbara seem to be spending an awful lot of time together working on uh, missing most of the first. Brad and Barbara missed most of it, so Brad sucks butt. No more Brad. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, Brad's a dick. I don't want to. And, and Peggy hates him anyway, so it works out. Okay. Burn him. Uh, Karen has stepped it up to her duties. Hopefully, she's getting a double pay. I think it was really good for Peggy. They're even team building. Update started to suspect that these producer training gamers are getting strategically timed. They both missed Secret Santa first day. Everybody missed it but John! All right. Well, this is the winner. Yeah. Hey, Peggy, you there? My first choice. Find what we need? I think I know who to call. I think I know who our best bet is to help Casey and Jason. Yeah, uh, yo, the lore is the most important, you? obviously. Hello? Is anybody there? Please pick up. Casey, I'm here. What's wrong? Jason started going pale. Oh, uh, he's going into shock and he's family. bleeding out. Threw up everywhere. Yep, yep, yep. What's happening? What do I do? Raise his leg. Uh, uh, did he have any booze earlier? He's going into shock. Yep, 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 God, yep, yep, yep. Like he's going into yep, shock. he's going into shock. I know. Casey, just I know. Because my doctor okay. said that he didn't know how I wasn't in shock because my blood pressure was all crazy. All right. No, 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 no. It's fine. Everything right. I, I need you to listen to me, okay? For Jason. It's okay. What did the nurse say to do about shock? Elevate the legs. The yep. Elevate Jason's wound. Elevate Jason's Casey, legs. I need you to elevate Jason's legs. Yes. We need to get the blood flowing to his vital organs. Brain. Got it. Jason, stay with me. I I'm just gonna move you. This might hurt. No, 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 no. You don't want to elevate I'm the wound. Well, it'll go. make it bleed less. But, but she said elevate the legs and as for possible. the shock. Do you have anything you could use nearby, Casey? Yeah. Put another Can on top. Or, oh God. Replace the apply additional. Don't remove the bandage. Apply another one on top of it. You still have You don't want to rip the cloths off. The to keep them if warm, there's any. So I'll use my jacket. I can always get a new one. There you go. I'll fix his bandage and get him warm. Hold on, please. Oh. Dude, Casey's doing great. She's doing it. He's doing good. She's okay. doing so good. He's not doing well. Hold on. Okay. Nah, he's doing great. He's gonna... No, 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 no. He's going to be fine. Jason is going to be fine. Just make sure he knows he's I don't know. Okay. I don't know. The okay. killer do be coming okay. soon. I feel it. Please. I can't give him what he needs. Please. Fine. It's fine. Can't lose him. Oh. All right, Forrest. We need to hurry. Jason She's doesn't so sound like he's doing too well. I know. It's okay. You said you knew who to call earlier? Don't. Who was it? The war vet. The war vet. 
We need to call John Hedges. He lives on Nancy Drive. He didn't really participate in the first aid training, but he's a former war medic. He's probably the most trained person we have. Yeah. Really? I never really spoke to him before. A war medic, huh? Yeah, and according to... He Richard's has his notes, own stuff. John keeps all of his old equipment at his house. He's something of a hoarder. All right. What's his number? Uh, five, four, two, zero, seven, three, five. <laughs> what time is it? John, it's Forrest Nash. 3 a.m. Fam. We have yeah, maybe it has morphine. We need your help. Forrest? If this is a work emergency, yeah, I didn't see his I number either, fam. I feel like the voices have gotten quieter than before. You guys are right. I have a hundred percent. Good lord, good lord, this one. Leave me a note like everybody else. Uh, there's a medical emergency if somebody has been stabbed. The whistling man is back. Yeah. John, no, this is a medical emergency. A man has been stabbed by the whistling man, or never mind. He, he's badly hurt <laughs> and he's going to die unless we get someone to him. <laughs> Probably a monkey. The whistling man? What kind of joke is this? John, we're not kidding. A man is going to die if we don't help him right now. Seriously, I, I haven't been called on for over 10 years. Where's the patient? What's his condition? <laughs> he's oh my 25 gosh. Nancy Drive. I think we got his friend to stem the bleeding, but he's gone into shock. He's passed out right now. You say he was stabbed? Do you know the extent of his injuries? From what we were told, he has two major stab wounds. One to the stomach and one to the leg. The knife is still in his leg, and the stomach wound is open. Understood. Let me grab a few supplies and I'll head right over. Damned if he dies on my watch. Hey, yo! Well, let him know you're on your way. Good luck. Go, John, Hello, go. Are you go, there? John, go. How are we doing? Bad. Jason seemed really weak and then just started thrashing. Oh. Are you hurt? When he was thrashing around, did he hurt you in any way? Or, or are you okay? I'm fine, but Jason passed out. Please tell me you found someone. Someone to come help. in. Casey, help is on the way. Aww. My colleague will be there soon. Did you hear that, Jason? Hi, Doug. Hi, Salazar. You're going to be just fine. Just hold on for me, okay? <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on. Hello, Casey. This is John Hedges. And I'm here about Jason. Please let me in. I'm guessing that's Jason there. Casey, I'm going to need your help. Forrest, <laughs> Hi, guys. Don't you two worry. We've got this from here. Okay. Forrest, we'll call you back later. I have to go now. Can I go Good upstairs luck, again? We're safe in my office. God, I hope he's going to be all right. <sighs> and with that, the show moves on. We're sending our best wishes to Jason. Woo! Well, after all that excitement, I think we could use some music. When you're ready. Ugh, let me upstairs, please, for the love of God. Uh, hi, everybody. Hi, guys. We're playing Killer Frequency and we're saving people from getting stabbed by me. <laughs> no, nah, I'm kidding. Anyway, hi, everybody. How are you guys doing? Doug, Salazar, how have you been? Hi. So, we're just ignoring the knocking. Someone should definitely do 120 bits. No, 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 no. I don't know. I don't know. So how many people have been killed during your playthrough? So far, none. We've saved everybody because, uh, we magic. Saving. Ooh, ooh. Okay, new song we got. Let's blast it. One goes out to Clive. It's getting pretty late. This might be your last break for the night, so try to enjoy it. Give me a buzz when you want to go back on air. All right, Peggy, let's, let's go. Roll. You got it. We've got another call coming through, too. Welcome back to 189.16, The Scream. I believe we have another caller on the line. How are you tonight, Collar? Forrest, it's me, Roller Ricky. Oh, Yo! Man, I see you too. 
what up maxi yo true if only we had irl uh save stations that's true yo the character yo we have young thari mizu on for the killer we have saved everybody but yeah if we do another playthrough we can kill everybody instead good to hear from you again how are you both doing oh uh, we're good man thanks to you you're like our guardian angel oh. that wouldn't be a bad look for you forrest a little white wing halo note <laughs> Maybe something for the K Fan Halloween party. Dude. All right, everyone, let's calm down. Reiki, I'm just glad we could help you and Maxie. Is there anything else we can help Peggy you with? Peggy flirting with us big Actually, time. I think I have some info that might help you. Ooh, really? Oh, what's that? You see, man, uh, me and Jason know each other. You know each other? Yeah, we went to Gal's High and played on the football team together. He was a gnarly offensive linesman, and I was our star wide receiver. Runner Ricky, they called me. I don't know what All that right. means. And I don't. I, I don't football to do tonight. <laughs> well, because George, the guy who drowned, he was on our team too. <gasps> Keep talking. What happened? We had our first team party on the night he drowned. He seemed like such a good dude. Ricky, <sighs> were you there when George drowned? No, man. Oh, no. Once the party turned, I beat feet out of there. Oh, no. Man, what does that mean? I remember George and his girl there. There was a whole lot of love, man. I could see it, you know? His girl? Yeah, wait. Ricky, please. What was her name? I never got her name, man. He's it is pain. Dawn. I, I didn't really know her before or, or see her after that. Then what did she look like? Please, tell us anything you remember. I just remember a pretty girl, man. I'm sorry. It's been a while, I'm Wait, sure. You, you said the party didn't last long. What happened? We were just having a good time. And then the next thing I knew, everyone was running for their life. It I doesn't have a fart. Missed opportunity. A goddamn whistling man. And I never ran so fast in my life. I ran straight home. Didn't know about George until next morning at school. Aww. I'm guessing it was whistling night, wasn't it? That the whistling man was just another kid. Yeah. I don't know how George died, but... Uh, I've made 165 so far. I've always felt like if anyone deserved to die that night, it should have been me. Oh, why? Why would it be you? What? Oh, hi! <laughs> Thank you, Tilt the Ball. Oh, Monkey, I hope you feel better soon. Yoshi, thank you for the raid. You guys, go give me Yoshi all the love for the raid. Hi! How was your stream? Congrats on getting Glitch Pointer. Hello! Hi, hi! How was your stream? How did it go? We're playing Killer Frequency. Ooh, woo. And on. Point sixteen. Scream! <laughs> and we're 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 solving mysteries and saving lives from Mizu the Killer. Yeah! <laughs> a kid. Actually, you know, I need a noir outfit because I have I have like this filter. I have I need to make Nerva make me more. I have this one for like moody stuff, and I got this one too. Very moody. Very moody. Ooh, ooh. But yeah, anyway. Hi, Yoshi. How is your stream going? Hello, hello, hello. Hi, hi. I hope you had an awesome stream. You need to make me more clothes because I don't have enough clothes. <laughs> he is my creator. <laughs> gonna start by uh gonna start my better one soon. Uh I hope it goes well, Yoshi. Sending all the love. Congrats on the glitch partnership and everything. Congrats, congrats. Thank you for bringing your lovely community here. All right. Uh, it's it wasn't your fault. That's horrible. Uh, maybe if you hadn't. Uh, yeah, it wasn't Ricky, your fault. It wasn't your fault. That's sad. He would thinks it should have been him. I know that now, ma'am. Took a long time to learn, but yeah. Just thought I'd tell you all what I know. I think there's like a Thank secret you, thing. This helps. Thank you for shooting you baskets. It, anyway, I think it's time for me and Maxie to free up your phone lines. 
Thanks for listening, man. Aww, Alexis, it's so ah! wholesome. I love, Not I love this game. I hope we get a DLC for it. Really All good. All right, folks. Looks like we got a new lead in the case. If anyone has any info about this mysterious bean, <gasps> imagine if it was if Peggy. She was doing his girlfriend back then. She's probably in her mid to late thirties now. How old is Peggy? Oh, we have another call coming in. But hang on. What's up, Peggy? Yo, I'm proud of you for applying yourself and doing it. Honestly, like Peggy? you you miss every shot you don't shoot, right? You're gonna wanna take this call off the air. Who is it? Just do it. What All is right, folks, it's time for another track. I mean Here's one to help you sit back and relax. We'll be right back after uh so i've been um uh, i've been i haven't went to him in a while i think i've missed some of them but uh i've been going to like uh like twitch when they offer for partners like stuff and they the one i went to which is where i met like um the twitch ambassador i know ash said hi and like other really cool people and they talked about uh like sponsorships and brand deals and stuff that they went to and i realized like just like in any normal job too you kind of talk yourself up and everything and like you still apply yourself and i'm like a self-loathing bitch so like i i'm always like underselling myself and i feel like that's something that i've totally like not done myself a service to of like actually trying to like apply myself and be like yo i can do this and being confident so i'm proud of you Dude, imagine if the killer was Peggy. So what do I... What do I click? Do I go to a phone? Oh, do I need to play that? Coming up for your listening pleasure, it's Caged Tiger with their single, One Last Goodbye. Oh, that's... That was a bad... That's a bad game. Uh, I hope this er, is good song. news, Peggy. Who have we got? Find out for yourself on line one. What? Hello? Forrest, <gasps> I'm glad I got back through to you. Leslie! Like guy, huh? Surprise! It's Leslie, our 911 operator, leading the charge from Henderson to come save us. It's so good to hear from you. Are you okay? We're doing okay. Sarah and I are both happy to be headed back home. We're happy to have you too. I... Wait, Sarah? Oh, yeah, I mean Deputy Martinez. <laughs> anyway. We got back into radio range a little while ago. We've been listening in, but haven't been able to get through until now. Uh, so help it's us on the way? It's been since you left. Please tell us you're bringing help. You bet. I'm leading a whole goddamn squad. Yay! As we speak. Turns out somebody had cut the phone lines. They had no idea what was happening. <gasps> That's great news. That's crazy about the phone lines, though. Do you think the whistling man cut them? I'm guessing so. I don't know how he, how she, how the whistling man did it. But that doesn't matter right now. Listen, we're it's coming such in a hot. good indie game. We're solving mysteries. I know Gallows Creek isn't a big town. But if we don't know where the whistling man is, we can't get him. Her. That's where you come in. I'm only helped enough. What do you need? Gallows Creek is, yeah. You can what do you count on us. What do you need? It might be a long shot. Here goes. Yeah, we're not gonna be butts about the it now. Man already called up a few times. I bet she calls again. We're still a little ways out of town, so if she calls, stall her. Mm. Buy as much time as you can for us to get in. Oh no! And while talking to her, try to figure out where she is. Oh no! We'll be listening in. For sounds. So once her location is known, we'll head straight there. And Maybe she'll be at Ponty's Pizza. <laughs> I'll do my best. Do my best. Oh no! I Heck, She's gonna end up trying now. to kill us, is how Morris it feels. Nash's interview of a lifetime. Yo! Anyway, I'll radio the other cars and tell them the plan is a go. Okay. Hopefully the next time I see you, it'll be with our killer behind bars. Oh, Lord. I'm okay. so anxious. We'll see you soon, Leslie. Bye, Leslie. You're, oh you're a champ. It sounds like this is almost over. <laughs> We're nearly through this. If the killer is Peggy this whole time and the window in front of you is just a hologram and she's been killing dude, true. It's gonna be Ponty. I you know what? I'ma let that man talk. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, let's get back down the air. I hope you're right. I don't think that okay, let's get back on the air. Let's get now. it. 
Let's get back on air. Woo! You got it. Here we Bring go. Back live now. Welcome back to The Scream with me, Forrest Nash. The line is lit up, but before I get to our next caller, I just want to say things are looking up. It's almost over. But for now, let's bring in our next caller. Is it going to be her? Evening, caller. This is Forrest Nash. <laughs> is it her? Hello, Forrest. No, it's this not. This is John Hedges. What up? I'm here with Casey. I wanted to give you an update on Jason. Oh! John, is, is he going to be okay? <laughs> is he okay? He's a fighter. He'll be fine. I've got him stabilized and resting in a bed. Woo! We're preparing to move him to the hospital. Nice. Thank you so much. If you hadn't been there, then... She would have pulled yeah, that knife out of his leg. Of course, Casey. She would have yoinked that okay. knife out. John, Casey, you two did all the work. Tell Jason to get well soon from us. Woo! Mary's up for it. Well, why don't you tell him yourself? Is this Forrest? <gasps> Jason! Jason, we meet we at We did last. it! It's good to hear you, Jason. How are you? Oh, well, you know. Got a hole in my stomach, and there's a knife in my leg. But <laughs> John gave me something to take the edge off. Nah, yeah. so I might got that, that, the good I quality know. morphine. <laughs> <coughs> take it easy until you get to St. Gabriel's. I will. But uh, before that, I, I needed to call you. Ah, uh, does he have info? Guessing the whistling man is still out there. Ah, uh, yeah. Yep. As far as we know, anyway. Well, I was worried you'd say that. God damn it. Actually, I'm glad you called. I wanted to talk to you about what happened earlier. Go for it. I don't really feel you like this is a good Roland time, Ricky but okay. <laughs> after you were attacked. Give me the Hydra! Ricky? Was he? Is he all right? He Ricky? Now. I mean, he was attacked earlier, but this call came after. Hey, guys, I'm really sorry, but there's a call on the other line. I just need to make sure we don't have another situation brewing. You fill Jason in on what happened. I'll be right back. Okay. Mm, sure, Peggy. Sorry, Jason. Uh, Is she in on it? I'm scared. Uh, yep. Ricky's fine. You don't need to worry about him. That's a relief. He told us about George. Sounds like everything's I'm finally coming thoughts. out now. I guess it's tough to hold it all in. Sounds like you've been holding back about something awful, Jason. I'm part of the reason my best friend is dead, <gasps> Forrest. And the few who knew about it said if I ever said anything, I'd find myself in jail for a long time. It was hell. And then the town just moved on like he'd never existed. What happened that night? I went along with the... Stupid prank, that's what. <gasps> Whistling night. Oh Some of the no! Guys on the team had an idea for a way we could they haze, haze people. The newcomers. Oh no. Decided to plan a party in the woods. Yeah, it's about everyone he knew about Whistling his death. Crash. It was stupid. We each had a role. I was the stabbed friend. No, no. The party that night. I left the group for a second. Met our whistling man. Oh no. Pretended to get stabbed in oh. front of everyone. Started an almighty panic through oh. screams. That was the last time I saw or heard George alive. That's not your fault. Died, That's Jason? not enough. I don't know. See? I was playing dead. Hmm. He just ran. Heard her scream. Ricky mentioned a girl named Bean. Is that who you mean? Bean. Oh, yeah. I guess George did call her that. What is her... Yeah. What's her name? He Please. called her Bean. I heard her again tonight, Forrest. Her name was... What? <gasps> what happened? No! Are we still on air? No. No, we're not. Seems like the power is completely gone. How do we get it back <laughs> on? Mary Campbell. It's Mary Campbell. An emergency broadcast? Emergency? You know, nuclear war, alien attack, broadcasting a scene. Ew, God. 
so we can end this nightmare? <sighs> Fair point. It's in the storage area in the far back corner, up on the wall. You might have spotted it earlier. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It'll have a big red button. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, see you when you're back. Oh my god. We're gonna get murdered. I'm taking the screwdriver. I'm taking the screwdriver with me. I got a screwdriver. I don't know what I know how to use. Are you guys like the morbid kind of creepy people who like you ever think about being in a, a horror situation and what objects in your house you would use to defend yourself and how? Am I the only one uh, am I am I the only one who thinks like this? Think. Think to myself. Screwdriver, very dangerous weapon. Very dangerous weapon. Where is the red light coming from the, through the window? I don't know. I don't know. Because we're on the air. Yeah, I have. A, I may have a metal pipe just chilling in my room. Yo. I'm not. I'm not morbidly, like. Uh, I. You know what it is. You know what it is. It's uh paranoia. Far back corner. You know, you Why know. Is this station so big? You know, paranoia. Like, how? What do you do with the paranoia? I'm that kind of person. I'm like, if this situation were to happen, you know, I would do X, Y, Z. I'm, I'm definitely that person. I have a okay. I have a baseball bat that too, but it. like, I don't know how successful I would be with a blunt object. You know what I mean? Boom! We've got power. I'm so scared. I'm saving. <laughs> I'm saving. I'm so scared. The whistling man. I need to warn Peggy. I have. I have a screwdriver. Screwdriver. I know where that giant leg artery is. I don't know what it's called. I could, I could, I could, or, 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 or the carotid artery is a good one. I hear footsteps. Peggy, are you there? Are you Peggy? I need to get back upstairs. It's Clive's test. out of me. Why is everything saving? Peggy. Oh, no. Peggy! Peggy? Happy birthday, sis. Peggy. Peggy. Where did you go? This can't be happening. A, a call. That scared me so bad. Looking around. She has her own coffee maker? Did Don press the Peggy button? Did she want me to hit it on my end? Where's Peggy, Don? 
Have some patience, Forrest. It's almost the end of the night. Almost the end of the show. But it's not over just yet. We've got a little time still. So let's make the most of it. Oh, well, I have a screwdriver. What do you mean? Make the most of it how? Well... Oh my gosh, this scared me so bad. <laughs> I thought we'd end tonight's Whistling Man special with a special guest. The one who started it all. Oh, oh, let me take that out of your mouth and... You crazy bitch! Let me go! Welcome to the air, Mr. Teddy Gallows That's Peggy! Jr. Wait. She didn't take anything out of the mouth. Tonight, Teddy. Your daddy and his money saved you 20 years ago. What? But even if you crawl, is Peggy you in on it? All the money in the world. Is it Peggy Wait. and Barbara? Where the hell is Teddy? How, how are you talking to him if you're here with me? Because I'm not there with you, Forrest. I'm here with Teddy. And if he says where that is, well, he knows he'll get it. But I can see you. You're standing right in front of me. Oh, I get it. You're wondering who's there at the station with you. Forrest Nash, let me introduce you and all of Gallows Creek. To my boy, Henry Barrow. Your son? You mean you... Wait, the, that he... Yes, Forrest. He and I had a son. So there were two whistling men tonight. Oh, I of knew course. it. <laughs> that explains how you were always able to get around town so quickly. And... That's how you escaped the secret archives in the newspaper office. You don't think I've forgotten about that, Forrest. Locking my sweet boy away like an animal. And Murphy, he, he was right, wasn't he? He did fight a man. I told he you did. there's two! I taught my boy to never run away I from the fight. Hang on. Did you say... Barrel? That... Are you... Let me just get this mask off. <sighs> Damn uncomfortable thing. Crazy wearing this. <sighs> there we go. Marie? Marie Campbell? George's old girl. Oh, well, it sure has been years since I last saw. Oh, God damn it. I'd be quiet if I were you, Teddy. But I. I'd listen to Forrest. Everyone's gonna know now what Teddy did. He what? George that night. What? This night. 20 years ago. Listen to me. You... Ah. You're gonna talk when I talk to you. And not a moment before. Yeah, why is this we card here? Forrest, I'm gonna give you the chance to talk. You're gonna help me reveal what really happened to George all those years ago. Why should I help you? Why, why should I play any part in this? Because I think you believe in justice. You think this is justice? You have no goddamn idea, Forrest. These people, these people you've been trying to save, they were all in on it. They all knew George was murdered, but... Murdered? Uh, listen, I... So she was pregnant. I said you speak when you're spoken to. <sighs> now. <laughs> Dude, it sounds good like work Ponty. Piecing together what happened to George 20 years ago. And that's why I want you to interview us. Are you serious? You you want me to interview you? Am I serious? He's, she's slapping him. You really have to ask me if I'm serious. Uh. Do a good job. And hell, you might be the only to leave here alive. I need to drag this out. If I can buy Leslie time to get back to Gallows Creek, and if I can find out where Marie is, then this can end. Teddy, we'll you're investigating a you. killer. Me, I'm sorry. Just uh, talk me through what happened that night. How did it start? How would I know? It was 20 years ago.
Teddy, be honest with me or we're both going to die. Honest? Forrest, I'm trapped here with a psycho. <coughs> What the hell? God damn it. Okay. Our first team party was coming up. I know, we gotta stall, we gotta stall, we gotta date it was scheduled for. I had an idea for a way we could prank the new guys. Which one chat? Whistling night? The night Mooney vanished, or tell me why that night? Do we want him to explain, right? So the longer the better. So tell me why that night, maybe? Okay. What made that night special? That was the night Mooney went missing. We couldn't pass it. Because we need to stall. I was just surprised. No one had ever thought right? to do it. Right? We need to stall wait. and wait for the cops to get you here. Mean this was the first whistling night. I uh keep talking, Teddy. We went up near Whistling Point. Uh, God, who was there? Me, You don't want to Jason, stall too much? And George, of course. Uh, but George didn't come alone. He brought Marie. And Roller Ricky, he was there too, wasn't he? Yes, Ricky was there too. But if he says everything, Brother she'll kill Ricky. him anyway. She plans Roller on killing him. Receiver. I helped him off the bottle, you know? I'm a decent man. She's gonna hit him. Is that so? <laughs> yes, it is. He came apart one day. Some people do. He had some issues. Wasn't stable. I didn't want him to hurt his chances in life. So I helped him keep himself together. You. You were afraid he would talk about that night, weren't you? <gasps> keep talking. About way through the night oh shit. we put the prank into action we looked up at the trees and saw jason there bloody like he'd just been stabbed oh and the whistling man everyone there screaming and george and i and ricky we got left behind but ricky was in on it too i know he was he and teddy were as close as anybody teddy must have told him the plan wait Did it? Ricky was from the roller rink. He didn't know, did he? He didn't. One or two? One? No, Marie, you're wrong. Ricky didn't know. What? Don't say what? Did you miss that part of the broadcast? I spoke to him earlier. He had no idea what was happening. Maybe. Oh, prolonging. He said he was oh, as terrified shoot. as anybody. Isn't that right, Teddy? You didn't tell him, did you? Ricky never could keep his mouth shut. If we told him, he would have given Maybe everything. Maybe two was away. the right. I don't know. Ricky, well, well, it doesn't matter. Good thing you didn't murder him. Have to tell anybody about it afterwards. He's still guilty. It was just a stupid prank. I don't know. Should we have him? Should we have her hit him? <laughs> kind of deserves it. He's kind of a dick. But it'd be fair. It's just a prank. Yeah, they killed someone. Could you How make me food? You still say it was Would you make me the rest of the oh, hater thoughts? I... <gasps> God damn it. Okay, he's still alive. It's fine. George think Jason had been murdered. He thought his best friend was dead. And so and bring me some wawa. Stabbed him for real. It's the role he wanted to play. Huh? Jason's still Thank alive, you. Marie. He was with a friend. We talked her through how to stop the bleeding. Ha! And got him professional help just in time. Oh. Sorry, I'm putting Tiger Bomb on my neck. Yeah, there's two! Her son! He didn't have the good sense to die earlier. The love baby of, gonna regret that. of the dead one and her Enough is about him. here with us George in the room. Took off running, but somehow got separated in the woods. I ended up near the bottom of Whistling Point. And when I noticed George wasn't with me, I panicked. And then, I don't know how he snuck up on me, but the 
whistling man grabs me. What? Ice cream. And he starts laughing. Telling me it's, it's just a joke. <sighs> I could stall for time here. Okay. How did you feel? Uh, I feel like this is the stalling option, right? Who was it? What happened next? How did you feel? What stalls the most? Who? I feel like how, like, she already is good. Who, where, how did she feel? And what happened next just keeps going. I, I'm, I'm gonna try this. How did you feel in that moment? I felt like nothing was real. I feel like that's the stall. I'm confused. And... Who was under the mask? Well, yeah, who was... Who was under the mask, Marie? Who was the whistling man? It was Chuck. Chuck Brody. Laughing away. But then he stops. And he's looking up. At the top of Whistling Point. What was he looking at? <laughs> Said it. What happened next? Nothing. I mean, it was just... Teddy? George fell off Whistling Point. What? Where were you? How do you know? Why'd he fall? Yeah, how does he know? How do you know what happened? I saw it. You pushed him. You were up there. You were dressed as the whistling man too, and I didn't push him, god damn it. What? I just chased him up there and he kept backing up. When I saw he was about to go over, I reached out. That's what you saw. You liar. What? It's not my fault. He didn't know it was a joke. If he'd had any brains, he would have realized. <sighs> you bitch. No one's going to believe this. Why would he? After all you did. Wait, after all she did? Even if you didn't push him, then why cover it up? Yeah. 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 Why? Why? If she's lying, then why the cover up? My future was at stake, Nash. You know what it's like. What? People like us are bred for bigger things. Oh my lord, I hate people like that. I'm going to be the mayor of this town, Forrest. And then governor. And then, who knows? Oh! What happened that night was tragic. It should never have happened. But it was a mistake. It was just a stupid joke gone wrong. Uh. So my father sent Clive out to clean it up. That's why. That makes sense. A blip. A blip? Uh, he's just a spoiled brat child. Blip? Yeah, why he, uh, the, yeah. It wasn't a blip, Marie. His father covered it up from there. I searched for George's body all night, but... Sandra found him the next morning while out jazz running. She found him in the river, but she lied about that to protect Teddy. She said something about her rent going up, unless she... Teddy, uh, the, 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 did your father own Sandra Sharp's dance dude, studio? His father owns everything. It's Gallows Creek, not Sharp Creek. I, 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 he's awful. His whole family is awful. I'd answer the question if I were you, Teddy. Yes. Okay. We own the most of the town. Yeah, they do. That's it then. Your father was going to run her out of business unless oh she my gosh. and said she found him in the reservoir instead of the river. What my father did in his business dealings is nothing to do with me. The yes, it is! That's why you killed Sheriff Matthews too, isn't it, Maria? 
Not just to get him out of the way, but... Everyone was in on it, Forrest. Even the coroner wrote a fake report. Said George was drinking. That he just got himself into trouble. And... I saw. I'm... I'm sorry. Hmm. For all it's worth, Virginia didn't have much of a choice. She had a sick sister whose treatments she couldn't afford. She played along with the gallows to save her sister's life. And her own. Even... Even still, she should have told the truth. I did my part. Well, the whole town was against her because the one dude paid them all off. That coward killed the story. We'll take care of Maurice Russell later. When will the killing end? You've been through hell. Should we? Should we? Dude, as as a, a, a person who lives in a small town, hashtag can relate. Everybody. Okay, it's like, have you guys ever been in high school and like nobody wants to be the outcast? So even if they don't agree with something, they go along with it because if they don't agree with it, then they get outcasted too. That's what it's like in a, a in a, a small town. So you either go with the flow or whatever. Yeah, sympathize with her and make her question. Yeah. You've been through hell, Marie. I'm sorry. It is really. And then she had the baby. Never should have started. He shouldn't have pushed my George off a cliff. He should have been punished. It's coming to a stop. At least for now. Here. George and I first met before he joined the football team. It was right after he shot the winning throw. Wait a sec. Uh oh. The winning throw? Oh, I don't like he's coming closer. School gym, football field, or roller wink. In the gym, you hear the squeak of the floor. I remember seeing that. Okay. We're at Gallows Creek High in the gymnasium. That's right, Forrest. Not that it matters, but yes, we're here. Why is anyway, he here looking at us? That wraps up the interview with Teddy. So. Marie, where? Oh my God. Peggy. Teddy? gotta help me i quiet thank you you'll talk more later she hasn't I killed him talk to someone who mattered Ooh. more than you ever did why is peggy there peggy. it's been so long since i've seen your face i worried you wouldn't come sister Marie. oh my god i thought you <coughs> here i was thinking you'd forgot me i'd never forget my own sister Sister, Peggy, wh what's happening? Why are you even there? Want to explain? <laughs> Earlier, while you were speaking to Jason, I got a call. Do you remember? Well, it was from John. She said that my sister Marie was there that night George died. And that I How did she not recognize the voice of her sister? And when you walked in, you found out. My sister is the whistling man. And so is Good your nephew. You too, Why didn't you tell me any of this? She said that it was my last chance to see my sister. I knew if I told you, you'd try to stop me or come with me when we need you on the radio. And I just... I'm sorry. This has to be a lot for you. I just... What happened to you? Disappeared one day. Disappeared. That's why she has a card from when they're eight. I begged mom and dad to do something about what happened that night, but did they care? No. They told me to stay quiet. They only cared when they learned I'd been with George and and uh, she pregnant. Marie, I'm so sorry. I never knew. Oh, no, no. Really, it's mom and dad I should be seeing right oh, now. Oh no! But since they're dead and gone, well, oh. I'll have to settle for the next best thing. You mean Peggy? 
Is that what you attacked, Eugene? It proves Peggy didn't forget her. Yeah. What do we? Uh. Don't. Marie, listen to me. You don't have to do this. Someone has to pay for what they did. Marie. Peggy Please. didn't do anything! They're gone, Peggy. Besides, you forgot me. Just like the rest. What do you mean? You forgot. Marie, Peggy never forgot about you. Keep your mouth shut. She kept a card from you. She, she kept it here on her desk. What card? The card you made me for my eighth birthday. Yeah, I don't know what Eugene has to do with what it. What does it say then? It's, happy birthday, Peg. Now you're great and eight. Love, M. I. Well, I. How's Peggy? She's been cut pretty bad. Oh but my gosh! We're here now. I'll be okay. God, Marie. Hey, Sara. I need you to look after Peggy. Peggy, sir. She's gonna die now. We got here just in the nick of time. Where's Marie? She bolted right as we got here. The police are right on her heels. Oh my They're gosh! Thank God they made it. It's over, Forrest. Ah! Well, folks, it was a long night. Oh we made it through together. I'm gonna head off to go check on Peggy. This has been ah! Forrest Nash. Can someone unlock Peggy's office? Yeah, good night and good morning. Let's uh, make tomorrow better. It's been a scream. And it's been a scream. Ah! <laughs> Yo. My the man, the myth, the scream, the end, and not all talk. Save all. Wait, I got like. Whoa! We got three endings. Oh, are these? Do they not catch? Do they? Do they not catch the sun? Oh wait, no, 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 no! I didn't want to skip the epic farts. I didn't want to skip the epilogue. Oh no. Maybe the auto save farts. I want to. I want to see. I want to hear the end. Dang it! You. Okay. Okay. Shut. Okay. She kept a card from you. She, it's fine. The auto save saved us. On her desk. What card? The card you made me for my eighth birthday. It's fine. Sorry, Jack. What does it say then? It's, happy birthday, Peg. Now you're great and eight. Love, M. I. I would not be able to remember a card I made even for someone when I was eight. I would not remember what it said. No! Henry, get out of there! Ah! Are we gonna get a sequel because Henry's still alive? Freeze! Forrest! Leslie, how's Peggy? She's been cut pretty bad, but Hi, we're here now. I'll be okay. God, Marie! Hey, Sara! I need you to look after Peggy. She needs help. Now. We got here just in the nick of time. Where's Marie? She bolted right as we got here. The police are right on her heels. It won't be long now. It's over, Forrest. <sighs> well, folks, it was a long night, but we made it through together. I'm gonna head off to go check on Peggy. <sighs> this has been... Forrest Nash. Let's make tomorrow better. Okay. Chat, 
that. Okay, okay, okay. Now we can listen to the epilogue. Okay. Is there... Don't click that. Is the best boss? I was gonna say, is there, like, secrets in here? It feels, like, weird that we can, like... Haunties pizza. I thought we would be able to find like a like one more disc or something. Or you know, remember we had the the vinyls. We have Ponty's pizza. It doesn't let me pick up anything actually. Oh. Do I have something in my pot hand? Look at what I have in my hand. Am I glitched? You see that? Why do I? What do I have? Are we in Barbara's office? Are we playing as Henry hiding right now? Is this Henry right now, maybe? Oh my gosh, this game was incredible, though. of whatever item I'm holding for whatever reason. Oh, wait, now. It's like super far away. I have like a glitch. Make you watch the credits. be a vinyl in here hiding somewhere but doesn't seem like it yeah those are the items they're glitched now i can't pick up anything game was fabulous this game was phenomenal the voice acting on point the pacing everything about it is that it oh my gosh dude this game was so good it was so good if you guys want to play this for yourself there's also like several little rabbit holes that you can go down with uh different events like the game is still the same but you guys can like save or not save the characters definitely play it yourself and buy the game because this is just a little like indie game it's fabulous it's so good it's so good oh my gosh the voice acting like 
Did you spaz out? No, we watched the ending. We don't know what happens. It, they don't confirm that we even they caught any of them. I actually want to play it, and I don't even want to play anything, dude. It's so good. It's so good. What an incredible way of storytelling, too. It, it's in such a small environment. You know, most of it, you're just in the recording room listening to it. But the audio is so engrossing that it's not like you even need visuals. Like, that's how good it is. And, uh, like, and then as you unlock more of the the office. Also, there were still rooms we never got into in the office. There were still a couple of them, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know if we missed them or whatever, but, oh. You guys definitely get killer frequency. Also, if you guys missed out the playthrough and everything like that, make sure you guys go check it out on the YouTubes for those you guys watching on YouTube. Come and hang out with us live on Twitch. I'm live most days, 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And you guys can help us pick uh, more games to play and how we get through it. But it was it was really good. It was really good. Let me down, know down below what you guys think in the credits. And if you were successful at saving everyone or if you did a, a kill everyone run and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> thank you guys for hanging out. And don't forget to uh, drop a follow, subscribe, drop a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, Karate, you can use that. Dude, yeah! I live in Montana, mountain, mountain time out in here. Bye, YouTube. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> also, you guys, thank you guys so much for all the love on YouTube. We are trying to get monetized on YouTube and partnered with them. And it's super, super exciting. Um, and we are currently at like 650 of like all of our uh subscribers or something like that out of a thousand and we're at what like 2400 um uh, watch hours which is so cool so if you guys would uh you know give me a pity sub give me a pity sub and 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 watch all of my videos endlessly on loop i would appreciate it <laughs> Uh, the ending was actually very sad. I feel that Teddy deserved every kick he got. He did. And he he really did. Okay, so let's see. Save all whistling man targets. Reach the end of the whistling night. Wait, can we die before then? Or is that just for getting through the game? The man, the myth, the scream. Forrest Nash survived the whistling man. Could we have died? Could we have died? A tale of two sisters. Peggy survived. Teddy Gallus Jr. survived. Restore power to the station after the blackout. Jason Parker survived. Unlock all the doors in the station. Okay, I guess we did unlock everything. Did you not have to? Maybe you didn't if you let some people get killed? On alarm development, Roller Ricky survived from beyond the grave. Uncovered Clive's research. Complete disco. Oh, collect all hidden records. Okay, we did get them all. Chuck Brody survived. Gain access to the station after being locked out. Play all radio ads. All teens except Jimmy survived. Murphy survived. Eugene survived. Virginia survived. Maurice survived. Sandra survived. Play a sound on the board during a call. Uh, W.D. Martinez survives and don't respond when prompted for 30 seconds. <laughs> Dead air. Play all records during the course of the night. Finish the game in under four hours. What? Oh, these I didn't play all the discs and I didn't. Oh, you have to finish it quickly. Nobody survives. And then one hidden achievement. Do we need to do we need do we need to throw more balls in the thing? Is that, you know, is that what it is? Kind of feels like it. I wonder what that one hidden achievement is. Interesting. Well, there you have it. Killer frequency. I think Henry would have killed you. That makes sense. That makes sense. Also, if we had, like, not saved everybody, surely we have different amounts of information and whatnot, right? So, yeah. I so enjoyed that. That was such a good game. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, you guys should definitely uh, check it out and everything. It was a fabulous game. Ah, I guess we can put knife you away now. <laughs> Dude, the secret of uh, uh, achievement is strange. Did you Google it? What is it? Place the mannequin head into the fridge. What? Oh man, that... 
the forest when i have played a little bit of it uh i've been playing it with caliber and nerva and karate Ooh, i oh we have a bunch of really cool like horror games that just came out too so like i'm really excited to play them if you guys are interested in it we have amnesia bunker just came out and so did the new layers of fear recreation which is like super freaking cool um so yeah amnesia bunker just came out and so did layers of fear like remaster plus a new uh whatever thing which i definitely 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 want to play did you ever play the pc mobile game life after uh-uh choo choo charlie yo we do have to eventually play choo choo charlie it, it, but i'm so chicken of it I, it's so scary looking i <laughs> i'm just so anxious for it like oh my god i don't want to i don't want to i don't i oh I don't want to, I don't know. <laughs> it looks so scary. That's the problem. It looks so freaking scary. Like, uh, I also, the person who gifted it to me, I promised I'd play with them. So I still, I definitely need to do that. We need to plan, I guess, <sighs> for playing it. But I am a wimp, man. I'm a big old wimp. Yeah, it's super nightmare feel. There's a new one that's very similar to Life After, but with updated controls. It's called Undawn. It's free and you can make a clan. Oh, is it spoopy? Is it spoopy, spoopy, spoopy? But yeah, that was super fun. I, I really, 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 really liked it. I really liked it. Um, I'm thinking what time it is and if I want to go to bed. Uh, I, okay, I'm gonna, I feel like playing this, so I'm going to play it. I don't know if it's something you guys, I want to play some Risk of Rain, so I'm gonna play some Risk of Rain. I don't know if that's something you guys are interested in. We're gonna play, we're gonna play it, because I want to, and if you don't like it, suck, just suck. <laughs> um, give me one second. Also, don't forget, tomorrow is our charity stream, and, uh, so is the, da 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 da, -da. Our charity stream is on tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday. And it's going to be super exciting. Also, don't forget, anybody who uses, uh, buys Glitch using code MEANSYOU uh, before the end of the month will get entered in for a giveaway of a Glitch Care Package. So if you guys want that. Also, Glitch has, kindly enough, um, offered some goodies to give away. So we have four $10 gift cards as well as two starter packs which is super, super exciting. So we'll be doing that. And then I have the spicy beans. I have the spicy beans. So uh, I got the, you know, the, the really spicy ones. You get the, 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 yeah, I got those because I think the, I think the, uh, I think the, the other ones are too gross and they make me gag. So I, I bought the spicy ones to try. So yeah, we're going to be doing that every $25. Uh, we're gonna be doing, uh, uh, spicy bean. And do you have the package? Are you looking at it right now? <laughs> Nerva has it in his lap. It's the Bean Boozle Spicy Fiery Five. And it's got, it's got Sriracha, Jalapeno, Cayenne, Haban, Haban, uh, Habanero, and Carolina Reaper. And I'm so scared for it. And Star! How are you doing? Thank you for the tier three. I literally don't deserve you. How are you doing? Hello, hello. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for all the love. How is your day going? How have you been feeling? How are you doing? Tell me in the tea. Why, okay. hello there, Mizu. Hi. Hello, hello. Thank you so much for your support for so many months. And the tier three, you're crazy. Thank you so freaking much. How are you doing? How are you doing? How have you been? Are you feeling any better? Tell me the tea. I thought I said, oh, there's a new logbook for this one. The sulfur pool. All right. Nerva, do you want to play or are you busy? Okay. I'll do a single player and hopefully maybe I'll pull some uh 
some better uh stuff or whatever anyway hi everybody how do you know to s oh wait how do you know it sucks to suck mizu did you suck at uh, uh, a lot in the past i suck all the time i honestly can we pause yes we can in single player hell yeah i played the first one and i have a question how will we be uh will we be donating tomorrow i have a tiltify link i actually have it already set up but i just haven't put it up live because i'm gonna do a bean every 25 dollars so uh i did put it on the twitter but uh yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah dude risk arena is super fun i like it I like it a lot. I hadn't played in a while. No poop talk or beans. Yeah, spicy is easier than the ones that make you. I got the ones that make you. I can't do them. They're too gross. I can't do them. Yeah. Uh, so I, I don't necessarily like spicy, but I, I, I can. I feel like that's tolerable. I like sour, but I, so I could have done something sour, but also I'm the type of person who would need sour that makes your tongue bleed. And I also don't really need to destroy my tongue. And make it bleed that's pretty that's pretty nar nar so you know what i mean so i felt like mm, maybe you shouldn't do that but yeah yeah yeah. are the goals going to be accumulated or are the goals they reach that someone don't need to, uh, it's a cumulative uh including the 25 dollar uh per bean but it does uh, the only thing that is uh if if you donate 25 dollars or more you get a thank you card a digital thank you card of uh mizu photo shoot so uh that's the that's the only thing that has a limited goal oh my god and then everything else including the uh the whatever uh everything else the goals i actually had planned on making our goal 500 uh but i added a stretch goal a thousand and it just it auto upped the tiltify thing so I was like, whatever. Uh, but my main goal is to hopefully to raise five hundred dollars, and then our stretch goal is at a thousand. So yeah, I'm falling. <laughs> oh god, I'm throwing, chat. I'm throwing. I'm I'm royally throwing right now. Okay, those like flappy birds are so annoying. These guys, they hurt more than anything else. Okay. Let's go get an item for the love of God. Uh, actually, I want this. Perfect. Because then we can just go hide in a corner for a second. And do this. <laughs> Always the burbs. Do it, the burbs. They get you every time, huh? They get you every time. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine not inviting me. What do you mean, imagine not inviting you to play this game? Karate, do you want to play? Is that what you're saying? Are you saying that you want to play with me right now? Is that what you're saying? I am confused what you mean. Uh, th thanks for hanging out, King. You've been so supportive and just lovely. And I really appreciate you because this week has been pretty difficult. So... Thank you so much for your support and all your love and just being here and being you. Like, I, I super appreciate you. I hope you're having a good week and I love you and please get some good sleepies. Um, you're a flappy. No, you're a flappy bird. Is <laughs> I'm gonna have to get warmed up, chat. Okay, I, I'm, I'm on controller now after playing keyboard and mouse and I played this la uh, last night. I think we did, yeah. A little bit, but you know how it is. I was also playing on command last night. Do 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 do. Hmm. I hear a boom boomer. Oh uh, no, I don't. But I heard uh, a golem. Bruh. 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 Y'all need to chill and also drop way more money than you're dropping. Y'all drop poo monies. Was overloading or am I crazy? Oh my gosh. Quack, quack. 
this look way more fun than the first one i never played the first one but i do know that the the second one is very much advanced i believe because the correct me if i'm wrong the first one is 2d yes 2d platformer way different game almost completely uh different although to be fair i haven't i haven't played it in a while i played it quite a bit during the beta to the point where i, I could like break it and endlessly go and not die at least in command um yo uh but uh yeah i haven't played in a little bit there's a dlc out for it now which is pretty rad and uh i haven't explored it i kind of want to reset my game and re-earn all the items to remember everything but i don't know it's just chill i enjoy the game it's fun there's a lot of new stuff in it quite difficult can't cheese the game as as well as you used to be able to also i'm very slow so should be done with the map by now or at least like done the circle also making the mistake of doing the randomizer because it's gonna cost me a large amount of money if i'm unlucky but you know it used to keep me up till 6 a.m to play it yo do you want to play do you want to play i'll die and we can play i just started doesn't really matter do you want to play Miss Rarar. <laughs> oh, is the is the is the same at concept, but it's 2D side scrolling. That seems so crazy and weird to even think of. Way harder. But I'm missing you all week and waiting for ever a little post on Discord because I was missing my I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I took uh this week has been uh it's been a it's been a week <laughs> it's been a week i guess after a level one this is just as difficult yeah the first one feels so brutal i could see that i could see the first one being brutal because i don't know i feel like i'd be really bad at it are we going alive for hours is the question i i mean uh no maybe an hour if we have a bad run then less than that and we'll play again but probably a good run is like tops hour hour and a half dude so the subathon never ends it's kind of a novelty at this point honestly so we're celebrating hitting partner on twitch but uh i got sick about two months got the flu about two months into the subathon and i uh we took a trip to virginia for nerva's friend's wedding and then I got the flu and I never recovered from the flu. I got I, my lymph nodes started swelling up and uh, I was in a lot of pain and I kept running borderline fever. And so like the subathon became kind of like this odd novelty. And then we also made the wheel of misfortune. So if 15 gifted subs happen in a day, then we roll it. Um, and we've gambled a lot of time for different things and added or subtracted time. And it's been like very dramatic and funny. Um, but uh, because of my health conditions, like I can only be live so much in general. So it's just become more of a novelty, just keeping it up than anything more than it is like actually consistently doing anything. I do have a lot of redeems I owe and that's kind of the main point of it. Uh, but I would like to, I would like to, we, we did four subathon cards, I believe. And so I owe a lot of stuff from that. And, uh, but we just like to get the hours done and get my shit back together. But what we found out later on is, so I went to the hospital, you guys remember, and I was having all these issues. At first they like were scared that maybe it was cancer. It was like this whole fucking thing. And then they were like, yeah, it's not cancer, but we don't know what it is. And it was like super terrifying for like months. I was like, it was like, I was fine until they like dangled the like this, you might have leukemia in my face. And I was like, then it was a mess. And my lymph nodes continued to go swell up. I went to my, uh, my acupuncturist to have her look at it. And she's like, yeah, your lymph nodes are really fucking weird. I don't, it's definitely something with that. They're not humongous, but it's, it's weird. I don't, I don't know what this is. Well, right before I went to San Francisco, uh to meet some of the naraka team i um i i just i realized in a whim that i had been taking steroids and i had doubled my steroid intake uh for water where is the thing i'm not <laughs> trying to find the portal uh to to maintain more uh liquids in my body 
because I have overactive kidneys and I lose a lot of my hydration incredibly easily. And and so I uh, I stopped taking those things. Also, does Karate want to play? Uh, I stopped taking it and I immediately felt a lot better um, the first like week and a half. And I would tr I tried to taper off of them because that's what you're supposed to do with steroids. Pretty as I was on an incredibly high dose of them. Yo, Raxit, thank you for 15 months. How are you doing? Hello, hello. Hello. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, anyway, I was on an extremely high dose of these steroids. But I did not realize it was as high as it was. Um, and um, I just risk cold. Rain two slams. Dude, I was just cold turkey. I was trying to die. This works out because then I can bring Karate in. Um, so, so this way I, uh, I, I, I could, I literally could not, like, go back on them. It was like, I would, I would go on them and it would be immediately in pain. Like, horrible pain all of a sudden. Yo, Gunther is in a lobby too. <laughs> Gunther? Are you here? Is he streaming? He might be. Gunther, are you here? <laughs> anyway so it was like horrible and so i finally figured out why i was in so much pain and suffering and blah 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 blah. but uh by then now uh fold that's fine i don't, I don't really remember either but raxon thank you so much for 15 months here on end of support so uh so yeah i finally was able to get rid of my flu um because i wasn't on steroids uh anymore my lymph nodes are still are being bitchy to this day they're irritated this week from being stressed out. I also have overactive like glands that make all my hormones. So for instance, I have an overactive adrenal gland, an uh, underactive thyroid, <laughs> and uh, my adrenal gland poops out uh, way too much cortisol. Uh, and I have like three times the level of like normal people. Um, and that's when I'm not stressed. And I've been very stressed this week. So then my body was like, ah, stress. It made all my hair fall out again. And then I'm also currently um, detoxing still off of the addiction to steroids because I was on them for over a year. So uh, pretty much my body has been doing like crazy things, including like messing with my period, like all stuff, all, all the stuff. Everything has been like... <laughs> And then, and then uh, I went to the doctor. My primary is like, I hate to break it to you, but I, I just got to be honest with you. It will probably take a year to two years for your body to go back to normal after the how much steroids you were taking and based on your track record. Karate, you died! <laughs> Karate died. So yeah. Anyway, crazy shit. So pretty much we are behind on it, but hopefully uh, we will get back to everything and just finish the subathon because, you know. Wait, oh, there she is. <laughs> but yeah, 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 it is crazy. Mizu said she'd be live for three more hours for my raid. Yo, where to the, put Mizu in the bubble channel? Point redemption. Dude, I know. I need to be in a bubble. Raxon, how have you been, by the way? That's what I'm doing. Uh, dude, if only steroids actually did that. Instead, it just made me fat. Wait, is Gunther here? Gunther! Yo! Yo, Gunther did join! No shit. No freaking shot. I was not expecting that at all. It's so loud. This is true. It is very loud. Basically, you put Mizu in a bubble over... Dude, for real. I don't remember how to play this game. No worries. Make sure to wrap it in special bubble wrap. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I need that. That's... I, my body is... Is... A very unstably foundationed... Uh... 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 Temple. Okay? And I fail. My bubble... My body, every time it gets a little bit of stress, is like... Most important thing you have, have you been pooping? No, I've had incredibly irregular poop. And the only thing that has been uh, making anything worth it is that I at least, I at least have had a stress poops forcing occasional poops out of me. Yeah, yeah. Damn, that fragile. Oof, yeah. 
If you guys are curious, you can scroll down below. I think there's a list of some of my health conditions, not even all of them. You guys should see my medical charts. Like, I, like my doctor's, like, list of shit that's wrong with me. They're like, a boop, a boop, a boop, a boop. And I'm like, mm-hmm, sounds about... Sounds about right, but you know, that's why it's uh, such a blessing I get to be a streamer. Because then I, I sit at my... I don't have a lot of upright time because of my heart condition. You know? So anything else on top of that just makes it worse so like uh i like lately because i've been so stressed my i keep waking up having like heart pains having like chest pains in the night um which is fun uh very common for me <laughs> and i just have to accept that i'm not gonna die because <laughs> my heart's fine but it doesn't feel fine you know what i mean you, you know what i mean chat you know what i you know what i mean anyway uh so i wake up in the night and it's like i get my my extra beats they feel like a like a kick to the chest it's uh it's a uh, it's normal but i can i i plan on having them removed in october and planning uh surgery and then my doctor was like by the way i'm moving bye and so i'm out of cardiologist right now anyway long story short uh yeah i will have it for the rest of my life there's no cure uh for my main thing which is pots it is a nervous system condition caused by overactive nervous system which then like makes you have tachycardia because your blood pressure is incredibly inconsistent throughout the body making every time you stand up or change positions your body does like a boopa boopa you know um so it's kind of a little bitch but uh yeah so that i will have for the rest of the day and it affects everything like uh like everything from anywhere from like digestion giving me like ibs to brain fog to lack of oxygen to the brain causing like loss of brain cell i mean like everything um coordination issues i can't drive anymore i have unexplainable like cons constant migraines and uh and dizziness for over 10 or up to almost 10 years now just weird shit just just all all it is it's just weird shit but anyway yeah, yeah yeah extra beat annoying likes to give me a little little poke occasionally and be a little bitch but <laughs> is what it is right who's got the mizu duck man's a better carry yeah he better carry yeah mizu hi dennis it's okay though i'm not gonna die i don't have like uh life shortening conditions just life debilitating conditions if that makes sense um, but yeah, my heart is doesn't like me and so like this week because I was really stressed um, And I have an overactive adrenal gland So pretty much like a normal person like uh, my normal levels of like cortisol, which is your stress hormone are like Double to triple what a what a what a normal person Has and that's when I'm not stressed. I had a stress week. So then all of my autoimmune diseases were like <laughs> So yeah <laughs> So long story short, that is why we have this horrendous... My community is beautifully, like, so supportive and incredible. And we have this unending subathon that is kind of just for funsies now at this point. <laughs> if that makes sense. So yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to die. If you guys are curious about it, uh, I'm an open book away i will tell you about uh my never-ending poops okay like i will tell you about my poops i will tell you about whatever i'm an open book i think like you know when i was young i'm still young i'm 25 i think <laughs> uh i uh i you know i didn't know anyone who was young and sick so you know it's to me it's something i think is important to talk about and lift people up and stuff Moltres, hello just turn into an android yeah yeah i have quite the yeah yeah it, it, it's not even all on there because i have wavering uh what's the word i have like shifting diagnoses too right also like for instance fibromyalgia right i have that originally when i was diagnosed with it, it was called like something something pain whatever syndrome or whatever because it it's like until they have determined you have it for so long and it's not caused by other conditions they won't like they don't want to diagnose that as that until they have nothing else and they've checked the boxes off right like 
it's the it's the same thing with like a lot of conditions so right now they're like you have this weird thing and this thing and it's kind of like mm, which box does this fit in i don't fucking know medical go to another doctor i don't know what this is like that's kind of my life so it's quite a blessing though to be on twitch and everything uh because i can't drive and uh like i said i don't have a lot of upright time so like most of my days i i sleep and i i stream and that's like it because i don't i don't have uh i don't have a lot of upright time like today couldn't really do anything in the kitchen because my legs started burning because like uh, if you guys know anything about like uh what's the something something heart failure what is it congestion congestion con yeah congestive heart failure or whatever i don't have that but i have symptoms like that so like you know so like significant like flooding of blood into your legs and doing all that fun shit that like that so it's like and then your pulse goes up and then your heart's grumpy and then all of that so like so i have to have people like pick stuff up off the ground for me or like sit in the bathroom with me if i'm having a bad day and i need to take a bath i can't shower because i start to pass out yeah legs start burning like don't surprise me from seeing other patients past medical histories yo wait what do you do cold gamer are you are you medical person kind of something in the medical field first time hearing me you discuss hospital stuff welcome to the fam <laughs> that, that's so funny it's so bad i'm so sorry it's that often <laughs> hi feral are you yeah we we slapping them around we spanking some cheeks out here you know it work as a medical scribe in the er bless you bless you you must see some crazy ass shit shit that you don't want to see or hear about sometimes <laughs> and meet a lot of mean patients people are not nice in the er sometimes so bless you bless you yeah uh the biggest thing is i i love being i i think it you know um uh, I try to be really positive because being negative, obviously, it doesn't get me anywhere and it doesn't make me feel better. And I think there's a lot of healing behind, uh, you know, being positive and, um, and with your health and everything. But uh, yeah, I'm 25 when I first started having issues. It was around 16. And at the time, it's like, you know, I was already experiencing cardiac like issues. And I can see that now, you know, five years like five ten years later right um but you know at the time they're like you're too young to be having any heart issues and they didn't take it seriously right so it's like uh i i always try to talk about it and be an advocate for health because you know it took me going out of state for doctors because i'm not like a you know typical patient right i'm not like a quote-unquote perfect match for all these things i have the obscure like if it's a weird side effect that i'm gonna have it to medication anything and just my body is like Pfft. and because of that it was like it's all in your head blah 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 blah. your blood test is fine i'm not paying for better or like giving you a high, weirder test it is what it is blah 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 blah, blah. like so you know took me a lot of searching a lot of years of i don't know still a lot of years of i don't know but uh yeah but i'm i'm really i'm really grateful to uh, be on twitch and be able to do something you know fun and lift people up and have a platform and a job online and then also have so many people who support me because like even like my extended family and stuff they see me laugh or happy or whatever and they're like well she can't be sick because she's she's enjoying herself and i'm like well um, excuse me, am I supposed to, am I not allowed to be a happy person just because I'm chronically ill at the, the age of 20? Mm-hmm, no, apparently not. I'm supposed to mope around and be depressed for the rest of my life. I'm not, I, I mean, don't get me wrong, I have depression, but normal amount of depression for someone with my body. <laughs> they, they, do, I was surprised, do, they didn't, uh, I've been tested for lupus and I'm, I'm currently in the triangle of candidates for lupus but as of right now i am not a fit for lupus although um i definitely in the future might get a second opinion from a rheumatologist and it's on my list simply because it does run in my family my grandmother had skin lupus which is kind of you know it's, they're pretty much one in the same but they just come out they're a little different anyway but 
in the past uh diagnoses for lupus has been very strict and it was uh it suggested that over 60 percent of patients were actually undiagnosed due to the strict whatever blah 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 so definitely changing in the waters and stuff i'm currently being uh i just did a 24-hour pee test uh those of you guys who were here and heard my adventures with the the gallon pee jug and uh you know as you can imagine as someone who doesn't get up and walk around a lot my thighs and legs are not very strong and having to pee over a jug for 24 hours that was an adventure <laughs> So, uh, we're, they're looking at, uh, mast cell activation syndrome right now, but, you know, we'll see. Uh, I, I will have one hell of a book. You're right, you're right, you're right. But yeah, uh, candidate for lupus, it's in the, like, yo, if you, uh, have these symptoms, let us know. But as of right now, do not have lupus. I have overactive kidneys, which make me, because of my overactive nervous system, because of my pots, which make me dehydrated all the time because i piss out all of my 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 hydration and nutrients but that's for another story also i am fluffy right now because i have been on two different stints of of uh of 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 steroids so yeah do you want to go on and we have medical adventures in chat here i used to especially as a medical student oh god you probably see the crazies uh uh, I could be wrong. I could be wrong if it's 60%, but I did hear that. Of course, like, studies are all, like, you know, relative and, like, who you test and who whatever. But it, I did read an article recently that it was severely underdiagnosed for lupus because uh, a lot of these uh, rare and obscure uh, autoimmune disorders are, are very, like, particular. Like, you have to have three of three or, you know, three or four of the, the symptoms to be, like, considered that diagnosis and to be treated for it. So it's just one of those those weird things. There's no spectrum. It's you, you have it or you don't. Um, so it depends. Right now, I just got into immunology and um, immunology and allergy in uh, the University of Washington. And this is my first time being accepted. We've been, like, literally shooting darts at uh higher up doctors for years and this is the first time i was accepted it's pretty much just if there's room and if they feel like treating you because you know even though i have this weird heart condition there's plenty of other doctors who that you know depending on how needed and wanted that position is and that doctor is it's harder to get accepted because they they have limited time at the at the study hospital and it's the best of the best so you know difficult to get in there you know you know what i mean but i finally got to see that so hopefully that's my open door to you know getting in there and shit so that'd be nice uh working on it um but yeah 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 it's been a journey it's been a journey a lot of uh you're crazy and there's nothing wrong with you and then years later oh god who missed this like <laughs> but yeah Guessing you've been to transfer to another hospital a few times at the least. Yeah, uh, doctors give me to other doctors because they're like, I don't know what the fuck this is. Like, uh, it's happened a few times. I'm on my second to fourth of pretty much every specialist. Not the first one anymore on any of them, uh, for the most part. Yeah, uh, yeah, the pee dog, the, the dude, sick equals dying, understood people. Yeah, also invisible illness, you know, the lack of sympathy or empathy or understanding of invisible illness and also like positive mental attitude, you know? Um, I, I really, you know, I have sympathy for people who are just not doing well, but I also have a deep passion and, and, and limited energy for, you know, being positive and limited energy for people who just don't, grow as people and try to better themselves like for instance like you know if you have chronic illness but not seeking out help for that illness or or trying to to better yourself and it's hard and it's difficult but it's it's worth it and you especially when you're young you deserve to uh to live a healthier and happier life you know and and as uh, you know the older you get we expect that your body's gonna start going but you know I'm doing well, thanks. Just chilling tonight. Uh, excited for my birthday night. Yo, happy early birthday! Cannot believe I'm gonna be in the 30s in less than a week. Yo, happy early birthday. Happy early birthday. Dude, I, I feel, I feel. 
Isn't it weird? I literally was just saying how old I was and I had to think about it because I was like, am I 24 and I'm at 25? Sometimes I remember if I'm like, can't remember what age I am because it's all a blur anymore. <laughs> but yeah, I had to do a 24 hour pee jug and it was horrible. How do you pee in a jug for 24 hours? And, you, and it has to be refrigerated. I'm just in a hotel. Cause I go to all my doctors out of state, keeping my piss jug in the in a in a bag of ice in the bathtub like a weirdo, every couple hours crouching over, significantly reducing the amount of liquids I drink because I drink one to two gallons of just water a day usually, and I didn't want to overflow the jug and and every ounce of pee had to be collected, and it's like you can't sit on the jug, you can't put it in the toilet or it'd be in the toilet. It, it, you know, it's you can't kneel over it completely. I'm not a dude. I got lady bits. So it was a mess. <laughs> uh, but happy early birthday. What are you going to be doing for your birthday, Farrell? Uh, honestly, me... Hi, Jerry! Mizu wasn't uh, it maybe too privacy breaching. I would just carry around all the medical papers diagnosing you with all the diseases so when people start to talk shit about it in notepad... Dude! Dude! Oh my god! Okay, we sh we'll have to watch it. Oompaville just did a video on it. Have you, do, have you guys seen the shit about the lady who pretended to have cancer? Pancreatic cancer, if you guys don't know, that's one of the deadliest cancers out there. And then that turned into a, a certain weird kind of leukemia. And then it turned out that she was a fraud. Do you guys see that shit? She got arrested. They, she took money from the like literal pancreatic, like whatever p people. The crazy, crazy. And she's like telling people about invisible illnesses as she's like spray tanned and looks beautiful and has all her hair and like cancer patients are like why can't i look beautiful when i've been through nine rounds of chemo like she can't i'm like oh my god but she got arrested and they took her wig as evidence <laughs> kind of crazy but yeah 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 dude for real that shit that shit i'm not gonna lie it's like, uh, for a long time, I was passable as a normal person, you know? I looked fairly normal, didn't look like I had giant moon face and all the other shit that's wrong with me. Um, but, you know, put some makeup on, put a wig on, it's harder to tell, right? It's, it's unbelievable how unsympathetic people are. I, I mean, I have people cut me in line and I have to sit on the floor because I can't stand any longer. And, you know, old lady walk past me and cut me in line and then like the, the helper be like, well, she's an old lady. And I'm like, well, I have a heart condition. <laughs> I'm a keel over. No, I don't, yeah, I don't know. You know, you know, you know what I mean? Like, but people don't, don't fucking give a shit. It's, it's weird. It's weird. They're like, you're young. It's fine. You know? And I have also like issues that are undiagnosed they can't figure out why my health keeps deteriorating you know that kind of shit and people are like well you don't have cancer so it's fine you'll be fine you just get up rub a little dirt on it you're not dying it's fine you know and it's just like weird it's just weird anyway people are weird People are weird. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Hi, Jerry. Really? You're talking medical when I just come back from my GP? I'm happy to see you, uh, you got accepted and they can fix it fine. Hopefully. Me too, because doctors hot potato for you. Dude, dude. My my doctors are are pretty cool. Pretty cool. I, I A lot of them are pretty cool. Pretty cool. I forget what... What does it do? Does it leech health from... I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, um... But I like sharing my story because I feel like, you know, someone out there feels crazy. People don't believe them or like not feeling too well. Hopefully, maybe they'll seek out doctors and stuff. And also, yeah, you don't have a mini fridge in the... Okay, we did. We did. We did have a mini fridge. But then we decided that we, our cheesecake factory bag with a with the ice machine ice was better and more convenient because then I it would have took up the whole mini fridge and it couldn't freeze. And then you know how many fridges are. They're fickle. They're fickle. They like to freeze shit randomly. You know, you know what I mean? You, you know what I mean? You know what I, you know what I mean? And and I dude, are you're dead? Oh god, did you go in the void and get hit by a void ball? No, oh, man. Oh, man. But yeah, yeah, yeah room service refrigerate my pee jug yeah and every time i have to take a whiz 
Come back up and bring it to me. Don't worry, I didn't pee all over the side of it. <laughs> Thank you, yeah, I feel that. I don't feel 30 at all. Dude, it, it's so weird. Like, time just keeps flying by, and then I'm like, what the fuck? When did that happen? Like, that's just, like, me on a daily basis, just confused at, like, the time that has flown by and where it has gone, you know? You know what I mean? Okay, do we have to pop the little pimples? Probably. Oh, Lord. Didn't realize you were in my face, little dude. Where are the voids? There's 10 more void seeds, too, and monsters. You just have to do one of the options. That was a seed. 11 void... Dude, I don't understand. It oh, is there another circle somewhere else? I'm like, I already did some of it. What do you mean? Why is the number going up? Mm, I'll go to the other one. But yeah. Not surprised there was a Twitch streamer who pretended to be in a wheel. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I and accidentally got up. That's the thing is like even like I had this thought because I did really, really well when I was in San Francisco. Rafita was our chauffeur. I was like, Rafita's probably thinking I'm full of bullshit. But like I just did really good until the last day and then I died. I was like running off steam i've like rested it up so good beforehand and then afterward i was like, <laughs> like <laughs> die for a week but yeah it's very also like mm, what's the word like after like retroactive or whatever like my health so like i'll have like a potato or like there's a lock box there um, I'll have like a good spurt or I'll do too much and I, I won't realize until like a couple days after like it takes a few days, you know, and then after I'm like, oh my god I feel like shit <laughs> But it it's like I did too much, but I was running off of like dreams and adrenaline, you know and then all of a sudden it's like a like a you know four three f three to five days later and i'm like oh that was too much what the fuck have i done like it's like oh no oh no like it you know it's like oh man i'm like, yeah some people are just degenerate holes yeah it's crazy i'm gonna leave priority me is having a heart attack on the gun dude they pretend like walk over like normal and then pretend to hobble as they decide to cut you in line i'm not shitting you this happened and it pissed me off so bad i left my shit i just walked away i and went back to my car because walking i can at least like get my muscles pumping and less blood pooling but if i if i just stand there i will start to sweat and I'll get a little woozy and my blood will start pulling in my legs whether I have compression socks or not and then I will start to feel like I'm gonna pass out and then it just ruins me for the rest of the day so I either sit my ass on the dirty floor or I'm like fuck you and I go and I quit shopping <laughs> the way of the life yeah I just uh, I just applied for for a uh, twitch ambassador I don't know if I'm big enough content creator uh to to or a good fit but i almost like was tempted after this like recent like streamer or whatever con whatever she was influencer like lying i almost wanted to be like if you need medical records i can prove it <laughs> like like I, I don't know man is that weird is that like a breach of privacy then be like prove it but also kind of be like you know i wouldn't mind proving it i'll prove it <laughs> I'm like i don't know man it's weird though weird weird uh i karate where uh, i i i'm trying to find the monsters it says three void seeds left where well, i don't even know where the teleporter is oh does it say oh does his marker say where the purple shit is it might i guess i'll go back over there oh it's this dude maybe do you count as all three because you're only one beast you are kind of a butt though so maybe Cool. These things hurt when they hit you, but yeah. Okay, thank you, Lincoln Nine. I'm sorry, I'm still behind in chat. Uh, midnight of my birthday and a bit of uh, some community games. And on my actual birthday, we sing my. Yo, I hope it's super fun. And I hope you have a fun, like, stream with everybody and have a blast. And also a really good time with your family. 
and everything. I hope it's super, super fun. If they Time can't see it, when you're just the, according to them. Yeah, pretty much. It, it happens legit a lot. Jerry, thank you so much for eight months. I don't deserve you. Thank you so much for your support and your friendship and everything. I super appreciate you and I adore you. Um, but yeah, no, for real. That That's just how it is. It's just how it is. They're like... Like a lot of people will see, like if I if I'm all makeup up and look normal, people see me, and they're like, nope, <laughs> like, like not very like courteous, right? Like if they're like have something wrong with them, they're like rude, and I'm like, I would never do that. I never like tell people to move out of my way or like cut people in line because I have a medical condition. I just sit on the floor. so weird so weird it's so weird that like that people want to use their abilities to take away or like their like the their thing that takes away from them to take away from others i, I don't like that shit man bad also i uh, i'm too awkward i would I, I i refuse to ride like a scooter in a store because i know someone's gonna approach me and be like you're not disabled what are you doing command and just go insane with speed stuff oh yeah yeah that's true command is like good but also bad because you get used to like having god tier loot thank you for the eight months though i super appreciate you i mainly played da -da 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 -da. pretty much just never touch anyone who feels slow yeah i i know it's not a disease technically but i'm grateful the director is like 3D grade. I, I went to school without lunch so much second class. I was near fainting from lack of fuel. Thankfully, she took me to the canteen, asked the ladies there if they had something they could have, and they, they got me a meal. And man, I feel awful that day, and I still remember feeling my body shut. Dude, like everybody goes through shit though, and like not caring about people or doing something for others, like too, is just like crazy to me. I'm glad that somebody like noticed. I, I'm really shaky. And yet, like, I always have been. And uh, I remember my science teacher always sending me home for being shaky. Did you eat anything? What's wrong with you? I called my mom and my mom was like, oh yeah, and there she goes again. <laughs> like, like I, I'm like, that's just me, man. But like, uh, yeah, uh, I'm a shaky, a shaky lady. Oh, did you do it? Dude, Gunther, Bunther, Schmunther fixed our thing. Speaking of which, I got a hot flash, chat. I'm having a hot flash right now. That's the worst thing with my heart stuff, too, is, like, I just wake up and, like, drenched, and I get so dehydrated from that, too. Heart condition equals horrific sweat, like, as bad or worse as, like, menopause. I, it's, like, ugh. Horrible. Super gross. He's with the TMI telling all the viewers all the weird things. You got oh, there was a third bubble. I see. All right, it was over here. That was our problem. I see the little pimples. Yeah, it was over here. Oisy, oisy. Um, anyway, if I missed any chats, let me know. Uh, I was kind of, like, behind on everything, so my apologies. Uh, but thank you guys for hanging out and listening to my weird-ass stories. I haven't played, like, all this uh, since DL stuff. Yo, don't even worry. There's, like, a lot of different mobs, and it's difficult. Need a water tank back. Dude, for real. I would love to go get, like, IV fluids, like, once every two weeks. I would feel so much better. I don't think my insurance would cover it though. Like I think they would be bitchy about it. Like you don't technically need it. I don't know. The question is, is it, ex I don't know if, if it's, how much, it, surely it's like a couple hundred bucks, right? Does everything cost an arm and a leg, you know? But yeah, uh, every time I've been hospitalized, and they like go give me a bunch of fluids i always feel so much better i get like freaking loads more energy i'm like woo! 
I like a new lady. Great. Give me some fluids and I'm ready to go, baby. Dude, where is the, where is the, where's the thing? But yeah, it's one of those things. It's not so much life or death or that you have to have it. It just is a extra feel good hydration. So, you know. Are you ready to go, Gunter? I'm sorry. I was just wandering around, making it harder on our lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, uh, fuck the part about insurance. Is it, uh, it's supposed to improve your health? Funny. Yeah, it's, it's like, it does definitely help. And I'm happy I'm on, like, I'm paying for better insurance now. Um, right now. And it's helped a lot because I was on the free insurance before. And that shit was like, don't, the hoops. The hoops of jumping, just, uh, just to, like, get shit in all. Oh, that was horrible. That was horrible. But at least now, um, it's like, a, it's way better now because, um, I'm, like, paying for a different kind. But yeah, also, it's just, like, I don't know. It's, like, a lot. Like, trying to, and then your body gets dependent on it, too, I feel like, maybe. But it would be nice just to get fluided up. That's why they have me on steroids for for the side effects of that specific stero- Woo! Being water retention. But also, dude, the the elixir container saved my butt. Move! <laughs> If I missed any chats, by the way, I'm sorry. Why is this game so loud? Turn it down, man. Turn it down. Don't worry about a thing. Me do gonna toot a lot. I almost have it muted at this point. Yeah, yeah, it's, it do be loud. It do be, I, that would be nice. You know, the people with oxygen tanks, that could be you with fluid tanks instead. Imagine how absolutely convenient, not bothersome at all, having to drag a little cart around. A, oh my God, that sounds horrible. But also, yeah. Yeah, oh, you know what I think is really cool technology and I, I hope that, I don't know if anything has come out because I saw it like years ago. But they are, they were developing, so you know how like a pH strip works where it like changes color and shit? Oh Lord. Can't believe I didn't die from that. Crotty's alive, right? Crotty, we gotta get you all the shit. We gotta get you all the shit. Just, uh, I'm gonna run around with you and loot shit with you. And you can just take the loot. You can just take the loot. Come here. Loot you up. Loot you up. Um, but they were developing, uh, tattoos that, uh, like, then, the, the, like, they work like a pH strip does, kind of, what, for different, like, things. So, like, ta like, they were hoping for, like, diabetes and stuff that wouldn't have to stick you over and over, like, you know? So, like, in theory, instead of, like, having to stick you all the time, you would have something that's, like, color changing, and based on the color, you would be able to theoretically, like, tell if your uh, blood levels were correct, at least for certain things. I know it's not, like, capable for all, but I think that shit is cool AF. I think that would be so cool and, like, life-changing for people, especially, like, like, young people or just, I don't know. Put a little dot on someone and then you can see what it is. Yo, Ahana, thank you so much for the raid! How was your stream? Hello! I keep turning it down and it <laughs> just gets louder. It's coming for you. Yeah. Hello, hello! Kawaii! Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Poopa Squad. I hope you're having an amazing day wherever you're from. Thank you so much for all the love and welcome to the family. Hi, hi, hi! Yo, how was your stream? You guys go give Mama Hana all the love for the amazing raid! Hi! Hope you're having an awesome day. Friday, I opened something for you. Get it. Get it. Don't go in the bubble. Get it. There you go. Dun, 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 d
da da dum dun 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 da 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 Me when I changed headsets, I went from like 90 to 100 to like 5 that oh god. <laughs> you got the new headsets and all the world changed. You all of a sudden could hear everything. Oh, here we go. We'll get you a red thing. Stay away from this thing, karate. Stay away from it. Well, it looks like Gunther's are and karate is already on it. They're they're kicking its butt. Or something else is kicking its butt. I'm not quite sure. But we'll get we'll get a guarantee. Woo! I didn't even see that, Pupperoony. Uh oh. This might hurt bad. Woo no. Ew new. That was close. It was a bit de dastardly. And detrimental to our health had it gone wrong. Dun 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 na 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 We're gonna get karate How does it keep getting me? Aw bruh Bye bye Got a blast Ooh, it's hard. Hi, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How are you? Micro, how are you doing? Oh, it's gonna get me. Ah, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Micro, how are you doing? How are you, mama, doing? Is it dead? It needs to die. Karate, don't die. Karate, just run away. Run away, Karate. Run away. <laughs> Don't die! Where are you? I'm trying to find you, Karate! Where are you? I'm coming! Don't die on me, Roar Roar! Oh, God! You forgot your item down here, Roar Roar! Where are you? I don't know, okay. Phew! You scared me. I thought I, I thought I was gonna lose ya, baby. Woof! How was your stream though for the the uh there is like that yeah there's the pump thing there's the pump thing but yeah it, i i thought it was pretty cool so like they have like a tattoo ink and then it like changes colors based on like the levels and stuff so you would just like know the levels which is pretty cool i feel like that could be cool or it could be like for people who get like anemia or like all sorts of shit like i i think that would be really interesting if it if it worked you know i don't know but yeah 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 how is your stream though? Uh, sorry, I'm not, I guess the diabetes is not that easy, but I, I thought diabetes people had like the little, yeah, yeah. No, they have like little pumps that go on their arm and stuff and you can, and it can do it like per week or whatever. Seems to work, uh, okay. And I think that's really great for children too. Like, you know, then you, you don't have to stick them all the time and like whatever. Nobody likes sticking their finger. I guess you get used to it, but that'd be so hard and scary because they can't like take care of themselves. Like, you know, or no, or always tell you when it, something's wrong because they're just a kid, you know? So, uh, that's pretty cool. But yeah. Roddy, I'm leaving you shit around the map. Or at least trying to. Don't die. Um, my stream was so fun and funny. What did you guys play? What did you guys play? Sorry, I'm behind on chat. Uh, not the uh, the Christmas songs already. I'm sorry. I don't know why I was going for Christmas songs. Okay, you guys, come get your red items. We all got masks. Crotty, did you get your mask? Nice suit. I'm going to be good night, monkey. Feel butter. Please take care. Tomorrow is our uh, just a reminder to everyone. I already know you know. Uh, is our charity stream for gamers outreach, and uh, so we're doing Friday, Saturday, starting at um, 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time for six hours, both streams. Uh, doing tons of fun stuff, including Bean Boozle Spicy Beans, and uh, there will be some giveaways from Glitch. Super exciting. I'm doubling the boss. I think we can do it. Yeah, because we have Gunter carrying us, obviously. Gunter's like, screw you, Mizu. <laughs> I think we probably could hit the boss at this point, honestly. Wherever it is, it's over here. 
Are you guys ready for it? Woo! Where is it? Dude, I'm struggling. Reminds me of when I could get uh, Claritin ads with the holiday tunes in the spring. <laughs> I don't know when I'm like, see, I'm too focused. So this game is, it makes it difficult because I just am, I'm like hyper focused on like not dying, you know, like, so it's just like, da -da -da -da, like running and I just start like making noise to fill the silence in the void, you know, you know what I mean? You guys do that? You guys, you guys fill in the silence in the void? Like me, Zoom? You guys ready? Where's Gunther? I'm gonna do it. Fuck it. People need to have a fistula placed on one of their arm parts of their body. Mm, yeah, you know what I mean? But yeah, I do that on... Mm, yeah, I just start like filling the void because this the streamer in me is like, I must continue to make sound. I must make sound. So that uh, I feel silence and people are not bored in my, while I'm even though my, I am having gameplay. I must do, do the things, obviously. Ubu. Woo! My game! Almost died. Almost died. Is there a Healy Shmealy Bealy in here? There's not! He's not. He's too far away. Dang. Rabbit. And my bots are dying. Shaking my head. I did double the boss, so this is kind of my fault. But I digress. Hi, Domakuno. How have you been? Played a game, so mostly Animal Crossing, trying to get the villager Raymond, but didn't. Uh, we'll be trying again. Yo, dude, Ra uh, dude, back in the day, I don't know if you remember, dude, people used to sell Raymond for actual big buckaroonies. Big buckaroonies. I've never seen... I don't have Raymond, but uh, me and my mom both ended up with... Uh, what's the purple? The, like... The Sherbert colored bear. Judy? Yeah, we both ended up with her. That's fun, though! Villager hunt. Villager hunt. Ooh, 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 ooh. We love a villager hunt. Dude, this guy... He is a tank. At least after we hit 99%, shit will stop spawning, but... Ooh. He's a big boy. You're a mean one. Mr. Squid. I don't know where all the Christmas songs came from. I'm good. How is the, that German? Uh, it pronounces gut. Gut? Gut? Whiff. Uh, kind of tired recently and feeling anxious for some reason, or at least I can't pin down the... Aww. Sorry to hear that. I get in those fits, too. Where I have mad anxiety, just... And it's kind of like, I'm not necessarily thinking about it, but I'm, like, anxious all the time. To be fair, recently, I've just been anxious in general because of things, but, uh, I, I feel that. I hope you start feeling better soon and everything, and I'm sorry that you're going through it. Oh, no, all right, everybody, watch out. In the bubble. They killed all my bots! My babies! Wow, oh, my babies! You bastard! Good night, Sorry for being so distracted. Thank you again for the raid. You guys, please go give her some love. I hope Micro and you have been good. Send you all the love and thanks for bringing your beautiful community here. I hope you had the loveliest stream and get your Raymond. ASAP. Oh. Hold on. Oh. Okay, everybody gets two. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that was a good idea, but... I took the orange away from me. <laughs> we can leave whenever, though. I was just buying some of my babies back. My babies back, babies back, babies back. <clears throat> I hope you feel better soon, though. Good night, cool gamer. Thank you, everyone, for hanging out. We appreciate you. Okay. 
I'm gonna have to get another orange again because I threw away mine. But yo, Gunther is on a mission. Uh oh. Uh oh. No! Okay, that wasn't bad. I got stuck. Woo! Um, that guy looks nasty. Boy, you looking nasty. You got you got something on your noggin. Not nah, look at are are they fighting each other? Is he? What shot me? What no stop me from behind? I am death. Karate and Gunther avenge me. Dude, something got me. Oh my gosh. From the butt. Unbelievable. The booty snipe is for real. I feel like we are underpowered for how... Oh, karate now! Gunther, Bunther, Smunther. Why does it still show us as if we have health? We don't... Gunter, Bunther, Schmunther, Gunther, Bunther, Schmunther. It is up to you. <laughs> yeah, I got stepped on by the. Yeah, I got sniped from something be from behind. Pew, 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 Okay, if he dies. Oh, what got him? <laughs> Dude, what even got us? The blunt trauma. What got me? Bruh. I don't even know. What? I don't know! I don't know what hit me either! It says you got hit by blunt trauma! What does it even mean? Oh, try playing on drizzle mode, honestly. That's what we need at this point. <laughs> oh my god. Good lord! Dude. That was wild. GG though. GG. Are we are we done? Are we done, bros? It is late. It is late. Do we bed bed? It died to fall damage. That makes no sense though. Something was just going like <laughs> on him. Man, hi learner. Hi, Doy Grimini. Hello. I guess we got to kaput it all. Yo, it's 2 a.m. and I have a six hour stream tomorrow. So. It probably, probably should have. I was mid air and it just poof. Dude, I don't know. Some, you had like a dark blackish red circle around you going. <laughs> so I don't know. Thank you guys for hanging out. Don't forget tomorrow. If you guys go down below, you can see it in uh, the. Uh, you guys can see it in your time zone when the stream starts. It's uh, 6 to 12 uh, Pacific time, um, which is 7 to 1 my time. So two hours earlier than normal, we're doing the Gamers Average VTuber Summer Slam. Uh, eating spicy beans, doing a bunch, and collecting charity for gaming for kids in hospitals and everything like that, which is super cool. So get your booties up in there and uh, check it out tomorrow. You guys, anything helps. We could do a dollar train. Uh, you know, if there's like 40 of us here, we do a dollar. That's 40 bucks. So, uh, you know, it goes a long way. So anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow with all the fun. In the meantime, go check out Leaflet, who just did a 96 hour stream. Um, and is back from that, which is like crazy. She's a maniac and she's super cute and nice. So please go give her some love. Thank you guys for hanging out today. I hope you guys enjoyed Killer Frequency and, uh, and some Risk of Rain. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night, good night, good night, good night.